Hello, welcome to stream. I, I make big gestures with my arms, not realizing that you guys can only see this tiny little area in front of me. Oh, Harpy, Harpy, you've been sitting on that. I love you too. I love you too. Oh my God. Yeah, I guess it is that time, isn't it? It's the 20th. It is time for, for all the resubs to start rolling again. Uh, for you, Harpy, I will strip. I will strip for you, Harpy. Indeed, I, I have. You, you so bitch. Much. You absolute little bitch. I love you too. Thank you, thank you, considering that I'm doing this. Originally, I started doing this again for you, but I'm doing it for everybody. So hello, hello, everybody. Hello. Take it off. <laughs> getting, getting spicy. I'm going to regret that. It's cold as fuck. But so first off, first off, we are going to play games. We are. Amazon Athena. I can't see what it's doing. Oh, shit. That's the Twitch overlay. Hype train incoming. <laughs> Two subs to trigger a hype train. We're a low. We're a low. Uh, we're not low energy. I don't want to say low energy. Um, low. Oh, and peach and peach. Jesus Christ. Yeah, everybody's ticking off. Everybody's popping off. You're so cute. We love you. I love you. I love all of you. Peach, I'm glad to see you here. Emmy, welcome in. Uh, so Dana, cute. welcome in. We Harpy, you. welcome in. Anybody else watching, welcome in. It's going to be a little weird one for the opener because um, I've been dealing. I've been. I've been dealing with some shit. I've been dealing with some shit. You guys know this. And um, I'm not going to talk about that per se because you know it's it's personal family shit. And frankly, who cares, right? You don't need to. You don't need to know or care about my the internal workings of my family dynamics. Um, but it does, it does highlight something that I can talk about that, that maybe some of you haven't thought of or, or just don't, you know, haven't really dealt with. Um, and, uh, you know, dad's going to share some advice. Dad's going to share some advice is what I'm getting at. I was waiting for everyone's resub so we could run a train on you. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I love, I love when the 20th hits because the subs hit and it always feels good when that sub number pops back up a little bit after it starts to drop. Um, you know, when you're, you know, I'm anybody, right? Like number go up, person get happier. And so, but especially when you're little, like if you do, if you do a few streams and like the view count goes down dramatically or, um, or, you know, you lose some follows or, or the sub count ebbs and flows, you know, well, when it ebbs, you know, it doesn't feel great. Right. It, it kind of like, oh, but, um, Jesus fucking Christ, Athena, one day my phone didn't register and my counter reset. Oh, oh, brutal, brutal. Well, we know, we know, we know, Emmy. Yes, please. I'll beat up Twitch and make him yes, please. Um, yeah, well, I mean, it's like me, you know, with Wubby and Alex. I lost my sub streak. I lost like a year. I'm coming up on my five year anniversary. No, I'm not. I'm way past that. <laughs> I blew through that a long time ago, but I lost my sub streak when I changed my Twitch account name. Kind of annoying, but so Lanids, Lanids is going to talk about, we're going to talk about some heavy shit a little bit, okay? And, um, we're going to change the music before I do, because this is not appropriate for heavy shit at all. It's fine. I like I like bouncy, happy music, but um, I want to go a little more lo-fi, probably, I think. I think we're going to go lo-fi. We'll go chill. Chill's good. So, uh, I think Emmy means my 55 watch streak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I figured. Um, which is ludicrous, because we're on what? We're on episode 83, so you have not missed in a hot fucking minute. Um, and I, I don't expect anybody to not miss streams ever, um, even, you know, at all. Like I, 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 I want people to take breaks. I want people to watch when they want to watch. I don't want people to feel obligated to watch, um, mods, friends, anybody. So anyway, let's switch over here. You guys don't need to look at me that close, right? <laughs> Let me know if there's any video quality weirdness. Um, I've changed my bitrate settings around a little bit. Um, to try and to try and just eke a little more quality. I'm always chasing that quality dragon, right? And so I'm trying to get a, just eke a little more quality out of the meager bitrate Twitch allows us to work with. Um, yeah, watch streaks were implemented in the middle of it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As welcome in, welcome in six, siete, right? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Siete is seven. So seis, six. um, sex. <laughs> I know it in a few other languages, but I'm not going to go too far down that rabbit hole. So uh, every time I turn CC on, I get the warm fuzzies. Oh, closed captioning. Closed captioning, like crowd control? I don't have crowd control. You know, like all of a sudden, Lanet's head jerks to the side because the crowd's control. Yo, welcome in, Doc. Welcome in. 
so we're gonna play some we're gonna play some games later um i have a new demo for you guys i have a new demo i read i saw this on um a streamer i really like um he's super chill um used to cover a lot of elite dangerous still does but he covers space gaming and i just like his style i like his way of looking at stuff he's he's very low pressure he's uh pretty unemotional you know he doesn't like he doesn't fall in for hype and shit a whole lot i tried to be that way um and so anyway he he uh showed off a demo and it looked pretty cool um and it's an interesting mishmash of genres that i don't necessarily like but the end product looks like something i do like so i want to try it out and i want to try it out with you guys and uh, and harpy thought it looked pretty fun so um we're gonna try that out but we'll get to that. And then after that, probably Deep Rock Galactic Survivor, because that shit is living rent-free in my head right now. I have been struggling not to play it. And I'm not going to lie to you, I have not succeeded. I have played it off stream a little bit, but not too much. Um, I have not, like, beat anything. I've just done a few runs, and that's resulted in a couple of character unlocks. But I haven't, like, completed any dives without you guys. So, basically... Um, <laughs> it's like it's like I went out and got mats to like do resources. So what do we want to talk about? What's the serious shit I want to talk about? Well, it's nothing too heavy. Death, um, death, and digital security, and 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 your place in all of that, right? So let's just get that right out of the fucking way. Um, and where is this coming from? Um, a multitude of places. Um, obviously, you know, I've, I've mentioned I've been dealing with stuff with my dad. My dad set up um, online. Not online. My dad set up uh, his accounts and stuff um, in a way to allow my sister and I to assume control of it and, and have easy access and to try and make life easy when he dies. He also, at the same time, set it up in a way that he, you know, that kind of like, like, I want you to have everything, but I don't trust you while I'm alive. He wanted to protect himself in the event that either of us decided to act against his interests, which we wouldn't. But, you know, you plan for what could happen, not what you think is going to happen. So I don't begrudge him that. Unfortunately, he kind of fucked off on that halfway through. So he put in place a lot of the protections, but not a lot of the loopholes that let us get in. So now that he's getting into the end stages of his life, we're finding it real hard to deal with his finances because he's got a lot of roadblocks in the way that we have to get around. Luckily, he's still cognizant, so we can correct them. We can, like, explain to him, hey... You did this, you need to sign this to like get us access to this account or whatever. We're not going to talk about that, right? Like not that specifically. That's that gets crazy. So here's what I do want to talk about. I want to talk about how you now can make things easier for the people who come after, right? Think about think about whoever, you know, if you got someone in your life, whoever that might be, it can be a spouse, it can be a, a sibling, whoever it is, right? Somebody's going to take care of your shit when you're gone. And if you're like me, you know, right? Like you already know that's going to be a real hard fucking day and a hard fucking month and a hard fucking year for those people. Like when I, when I shuffle off, that's going to be hard on Harpy. Harpy's going to have a rough fucking go of it. You know, she like emotionally. I mean, she may be dancing in the street. I don't know. She might be, she might be, I'm a fuck. I, I freely admit that. But, but I like to think, you know, for my own ego, I'm going to think that's going to be a hard time for Harpy and vice versa. So I've set up a bunch of stuff here to try and make it easier for her. So at least she doesn't have to worry about the day-to-day -day crap and she can focus on grieving, taking care of herself, moving forward, right? The last thing you want to do while you're sitting there grieving is like, fuck, how do I pay the electric bill? Fuck, where's this account, right? How do I get into, you get the idea, right? So we're not going to go. <laughs> if I die early, wipe my hard drive immediately. I actually have stuff that's encrypted and I did not give her the keys. So she will never know what's in those folders if I die and my shit reboots and it will die with me by God. Digital sanitation. But that's, you know, okay, so digital sanitation, we're going to go on that. Um, Gub and I openly share passwords. My brothers know the password to my phone so they'll be able to get into any of my stuff if they had to. You're, you're on the right path, Athena. You're on the right path, but we're going to go even further. Obi and I share a password to LastPass. You're you're also on the right path, and I'm going to go even further. I'm going to go even further, but I'm going to show it to you in a way that's easy. Um, and I'm not saying this is the right solution for you, okay? Obviously, you guys are all smart. You know what's right in your lives. I'm going to show you what's right for me because I'll tell you what, like, y'all are younger than, than Harpy and I. And I've noticed 
a shocking amount of times that I become forgetful. I'm not saying I'm like, you know, I don't like dementia or anything, right? Obviously. But your memory declines as you age. And as you start getting into your 40s and into your 50s, shit that you are sure you would remember, you don't. And it's not about like forgetting where you put the keys. I'm just like, you know, it's like, you know, what did we watch three nights ago? No fucking clue. No fucking clue. Your, your memory changes and you become more forgetful. It's just a fact of life, right? Is it anxiety that when I was like eight, I was writing my own will? <laughs> valid, valid. So I want to go over just some basic stuff. And again, this is probably all stuff you guys know. But in case it's not, I just want to show it to you. And I want to talk about how easy it is to do. And I want to give you my routine for keeping it easy and keeping it up to date in a way that, that I find very easy to do. And Harpy just knows, you know, if I if I get splattered across the highway by a drunk asshole in a Tesla who's using autopilot against, you know, fucking advice and common sense, that she'll be okay. All right? She'll be okay. So that's what we're gonna talk about. Let's let's begin. So Emmy, you already said the first thing, last pass. Athena, you, you've got some shared passwords uh, and, and your phone. And that's good. That's good. That's a good starter. Um, I, I would Personally, I like to go one further, so I'll show you what we do, and I'll show you how I, how you can set it up. Let me uh, let me pull this up here. Um, and again, none of this is like specifically you guys need to do this. I'm just showing you how I do it to give you advice, you know, because right, everybody's like fucking dad, give us advice. Well, sit down, you little shitters, you're gonna get it. All right, so <clears throat> excuse me. All right, so this is this is Vault Warden. Vault Warden is the free self-hosted implementation of Bitwarden. If you if you've heard of Bitwarden, you might have when any of you who use password managers. But Bitwarden, uh, what is it? One one pass, right? I think it's called last pass. Um, those are all very, very common, uh, well-known password management programs. There's another open source program called KeyPass, K-E-E-P-A-S-S. -E -E that runs on your computer only. It's not web-based. It doesn't have like a web UI um, that you can also use. Any of these are good options, okay? Um, but I'm, I self-host because we had LastPass and I just coincidentally was like, I don't like the way they're going. The company that bought them had a really bad reputation for um, security and, uh, and for kind of aggressively monetizing users. So we got out of LastPass and then like a year later, they got compromised. <coughs> and they say <clears throat> user data is safe, but the company that owns them has said that before and lied. So, uh, you know, your user data may or may not be safe, but I don't like the company that owns LastPass anymore. <coughs> Excuse me. So I really, 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 I'm gonna be doing that. <coughs> I've had a tickle in my throat since I got a piece of popcorn stuck in it like two days ago. And I'm pretty sure it's gone now, but you know what I mean? When something sits in your throat overnight and it makes you cough and wriggly. Can you put links in Discord when you're done yapping? Not that I'm listening, I just forget. Absolutely, absolutely, we can do that. Obi makes me use LastPass. If I didn't, all my passwords would be the same. See, then there's the thing. So you're already going exactly where we're going, Emmy. So there's, there's thing number one, right? Emmy, Emmy already touched on it. So this is not about death. This is about digital security, digital security. You probably got a little poke and so it's irritated. Yeah, it's exactly what it is. <clears throat> you know, it just sits there all night and <clears throat> like the salt like sits there and, you know, coupled with just my natural, uh, my natural respiratory issues ever since getting Valley fever. Like um, we were talking with, with our guests over the weekend, you know, and because, uh, because, they were encouraging me to take a fat rip. I'm like, okay, but I'm just warning you, you know, I took a fat rip and immediately began like hacking, almost hurled. I was like, you know, I've got fucked up lungs from Valley fever. Thank you very much, fungus. Um, and it, it, it'll it get better a little over time, but there is permanent damage. And part of that is I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have that cough for the rest of my life, probably, however long that is. So um, <clears throat> that's every riff rip the coughing makes you higher it does it do god does it I, like the blood flow or something i guess i'm sure there's a a physiological explanation but jesus christ i've noticed if you have a coughing fit you get fucked so here's step number one right step number one use a password manager to remember complex passwords and use a different password for every important account you have okay 
different password for every account you have, use a complex password for them, and have a good password for your password manager as well. So if you don't have a password manager, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use it, how easy it is to set it up, and how easy it is to, to kind of integrate it, okay? So I use a Vault Warden, which is the self-hosted version of Bitwarden. And um, I mean, frankly, if any of you, you know, if you are like, I wanna use that too, you are welcome to use my install of Vault Warden. You can do that. Um, I cannot see the passwords that are saved in it at all. All I have is the server infrastructure. The data in it is encrypted. Um, I, I'm not telling you to do that, but if any of you are like, I don't know who to use and you wanna play with it and just like try it out, you are welcome to try it out on my on my Vault Warden um, server. I got no issue with that at all. It can handle thousands of users easily. Right now it has two, <laughs> me and Harpy. So, <clears throat> so here's how you sign up, right? So like in this case, if I go to if I go to my Vault Warden server, log in. I don't. I can't create an account. All right. I'll use my email address. I don't have. Oh shit. Uh, 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 uh. You gotta cough to get off. Well, I mean, cough, dude, coughing when you're about to get off, though, that's like, like when she coughs, it's one thing. You when you cough, it's something else, you know? To get Welcome in, Rizzoli. Welcome in. We are talking digital security and death, and then we're gonna play some games. Um, specifically, yeah, that's kind of loud. Okay, it's not loud. I think it's just loud for you, for me. Um, thank you for the resub, my man. I appreciate you, son. So email address, I'm gonna use my, my Landis Books account because actually my real one's tied up. So uh, let's be Landis at landisbooks.com. My name is BD Landis, my master password, um, big, hairy, that, that. Okay, so there's my master password. Okay, and I'm gonna have a hint. So my hint is, uh, it's like me, like me, it's fruity, and it has a year, or it, well, it has a, a year, it has four digits, it has, um, trying to think how to describe the year. Um, uh, I'll describe it that way. So that, that master password hint does not tell you anything. See through denial of immortal. There you go, there you go check for known data breaches this you can do and i would recommend it they all do it i would definitely check that if you uh if you don't check that box welcome in sock welcome in hello hello if you don't check that box there's a website called have i been pwned.com h-a-v-e-i-b-e-e-n-p-w-n-e-d.com or dot org i don't know again i'll put links in the discord um, and you can enter any email address there and it will check it and it will notify you if that address is part of a breach, right? Um, Arcs, welcome in, welcome in. And um, like like my Hotmail account, which you probably saw there being last at hotmail.com, that, that account dates to 1997. It is like from, I think, within the first few months of Hotmail existing as a service that you could get. Um, so it has been in every data breach ever. So, okay, create an account, boom, done. So now I have an account. Now I can log in. Cool. Log in. Uh, what? Oh, verify your email. Fuck. <laughs> Hold tight. You guys won't be able to see this part. So I just got an email from Vault Warden to my book stuff. And it says, hey, big boy, I got an, I got an account for you. I want to verify it. Uh, it's funny. It actually says uh, email from Big Lanitz. Which I think is amusing, because that's the tag on my on my email. Oh, Edge, where are you? There you are. Okay, so I got the link. There's my link. Boom, boom. Email has been verified. So BD Landis at Landis Books, and bing. there we go. Voila. And that's it. That's it. I'm in it. I'm in it. So now all you have to do is like, well, well, but Lanitz, this isn't very convenient, Lanitz. This isn't very convenient to me. You can save all your passwords in here. You can import them, right? If you have a paid version of a lot of these services, or if you self-host it like I do, you can do this thing here, which is an organization. And I really want to be able to show you guys this, how Harpy and I have it set up, but I can't because you can see all of our account names. And if I click the wrong thing, you'll see our passwords. Um, yeah, we're talking about password managers and kind of 
Death Notes, frankly, arcs, to, um, and just um, just how to make life easy if something happens to you for the people who come after, because this is relevant to the things I'm dealing with right now. Nobody's died. Um, don't use LastPass to tell a stinky. Agreed, a thousand percent. This is why I'm on I'm on Vault Warden, aka Bitwarden. If you use their version, Bitwarden is free, um, or you can kick up to the paid tier. Um, One Pass is also good. Um, I personally, I do agree. Like, nah, don't use LastPass. Personally, uh, that's my opinion. <laughs> Please don't hit me while I'm at work. Brutal, brutal. I didn't say it. So there you go. Now, the next thing you do is in your browser, whatever browser that might be, like this is Edge, because I use Edge for stream shit. You can just go and uh, go to the store and you just look up uh, Bitwarden and install the Bitwarden extension. Boom, done. Do it for Firefox or LastPass or one, you know, whatever your program is. If it's a good modern uh, password manager, it's going to have a plugin for whatever browser you use. Okay. So integrate that, use that, and then log in. So in this case, because I'm doing self-hosted, it's a little wacky. You got to go here to my Bitwarden extension and see this. You got to say logging in on, we're not using bitwarden.com or EU. We're doing a self-hosted. So you got to click that. And then I have to enter the, uh, the URL for this. And again, any of you who want to play, if you want to play with Bitwarden and see if you like it, you're welcome to use this address, that vault.orcsandcats.com. That is my personal install. It is publicly accessible to the internet. Um, it is secure. You know, don't put anything real in it if you don't trust me. You're welcome to. I use it, but again, you know, it, it's you can get in there and play with it. You know, if you want to see like what Bitwarden looks like, get in there and mess around with it. Um, it'll it'll uh, it'll let you do whatever you need to do. So once you get in, um, you can now go in here, and I can I can add my account here. So beaglandisatlandisbooks.com continue, add my master password, which I'm already forgetting. And amazingly, I remembered it. There we go. There we go. So now I'll show you how it works. I'll show you how to, how to use it, right? Easily. We'll log out. So right off the bat, we're logging out. No password here. You can see when I go up to this guy, it says there are no current logins. Cool. So let's, let's log into this site. But boop. And, oh, I didn't remember it. Okay, yeah, it won't remember for itself. Fuck, I was hoping it would. But when you go to a site and you log in for the first time now, it will ask you to remember and it will save your logins up here. And then you can just click and log in with those credentials. Bitwarden's particularly nice. One of the things I really like about it, I mean, there's a lot I really like about it. One of the things I really like about it is this. It has the ability to save authenticator keys, AKA two-factor. So, you know, like where you scan a QR code, and you, if you have like, um, fuck, what's it called? Um, Authy or Google Authenticator or the Microsoft version of it. I think those are probably the big ones that most people use. Authy is probably like the best of those, I think. Um, but you can save it in here too, and it will save the code. So like when you go to a site, you just click the, the thing for your site. It puts in your email address. You submit. It puts in your password. You hit submit. It's already copied the, uh, the, the TOTP code. Um, to your clipboard and you hit control V, boom, you're in, you're done. Um, so the Google one and the Google one's nice, Athena. I think they've added the ability now to migrate it to other devices. But previously, the problem with the Google one is what happens if someone runs over your phone? You're fucked. You're fucked. It's not saved to your account, to your Google account or anything like that. There is no way for it to get off your phone. It is tied to that physical device, which is problematic when it's your phone. Um, and I know they have changed that a bit now. I, they have put an export mechanism in place or a migration rather in place where you can move it from one device to another. But Google Auth isn't tied to your Gmail. It's not directly tied to your Gmail. Um, the codes used to, when I used it, the codes were local to the device only. They did not sync to an account. Um, I know I had to get it for Discord and it wouldn't let me sign back in. So that's why I like Bitwarden because I can save my code, my TOTP secrets here, and I get my codes from here, and it follows me from device to device. I can log in on any browser, I can log in on my phone, I can log in on whatever. 
um, on my phone. I mean, I, I don't think there's really an easy way I can show you on my phone, but you just get the app on your phone. It'll still autofill shit on your phone for you. It's really handy. It's really handy. Um, when I look at mine, it does say the codes. Yeah. And I think that's how, I think that's how the Google auth one does it now. I think they've changed that since I used it. Keep in mind, I have not used the Google one in years now. It's been like four years. I've been on Bitwarden for four years, so I have not used anything since then. Last pass, etc. So, um, oh, I have founders now. You do, you do, Arcs. Yeah, you're a founder now. Um, one of the original founders, uh, deleted their account, and I waited for a while to make sure that that was like intentional and it wasn't a ban or anything. And, uh, and it seems to have been a hundred percent intentional. They deactivated their Twitch account, uh, which is fair and valid. Um, not there were no shenanigans, nothing bad. And, uh, and they had talked to me briefly beforehand and just, you know, like, hey, love you, you know, support, da 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 um, Who left us? Shart, SDFC. Uh, SDFC's account went inactive. And shortly before he went inactive, um, he popped back by stream a little bit and, and just said, like, hey, I'm really busy. I got a lot of stuff going on. I might be prioritizing somewhere else, you know, but just want you to know I love you and love the content, da 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 And uh, and so his account went, act went deactivated right after that. And so I waited uh, three months and he didn't reactivate so i figured let's let's go ahead and pass that founder slot on um ordinarily i like to let people hold on to founder slots um shart's the only person who's ever like given up one quote unquote but it's, if SD, if sdfc ever comes back we're all going to remember the name the legend and uh and he'll be a permanent vip i think his life was just changing yeah, yeah exactly i i don't think there was anything like bad going on i think life was just getting fucking busy on our man and um yeah, I got nothing but good feelings and, and goodwill for the man. So uh, he was he was a uh, was and is. We got a couple of moats that are that were made at his request, and uh, and SDFC is just a, he's a part of our stream lore. And and I got I yeah like I said I got nothing but good love and good feelings for the man, and good hopes and thoughts for him. But at the same time, we got ten founder slots, and I want them to be active, you know, because because I want everybody to. I don't want to say deactivated, you know, like I, I don't have a problem with passing it on. Some people do like some streamers. They're like, no, no, no. The, the founders are always the founders never change them. I look at it a little differently. Like if you go inactive for a long time and I don't mean unsubbed, if you go unsubbed for a long time, maybe, maybe not. But if you go like straight up deactivated, like your Twitch account is gone, I'm going to pass that slot on a lot. Like what Miss Breezy says the last time I saw her online more, she just wanted to buy more IRL. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> so anyway, so anyway, you can you can add stuff in here. So use what I'm getting at is use a password manager. You guys saw how long did it take me to create that account while talking to you? Less than five minutes. Um, and from here, it's just a matter of signing into websites. Um, I'm trying to think of like an easy, quick one I can sign into that won't like compromise myself, <laughs> you know, and I'm like, I'm kind of struggling. Um, I guess I could sign into my Twitch account. Why don't I sign into Twitch? Yeah. So let's go to Twitch. No, not .tc. God damn it. Uh, this is why I have all these good ad blockers. There we go. Twitch.tv. All right, let's log in. And I'll log in as my bot account. I got to switch over to my other browser because my Twitch account has a big gnarly password on it. And I have no clue what it is. So we'll log in as Lanid's bot, use that password. And then I got to get the code, which I just grabbed from my other browser. Notice how I'm not having to pick up my phone or do anything. There's my TOTP code. Boom. And I'm done. Now up here, top, should Bitwarden remember this? Please, please. There you go. Done. Ooh, be quiet. I don't want to hear you. There you go. Done and done. Write that down. Uh, the TOTP code, you're welcome to. It's good for about another 20 seconds if you can guess the password. Um, so, and there you go. Now you can see when I go to Twitch, it's got this site. So we'll even go and log out. And when I log in, all I have to do is just go up here or you can see it already remembered it, but go up here and you can turn on like autofill and shit. I just don't for security purposes. But if I click that, boom, it filled in and if I hit control V, it's already got the code pasted. Oh, it has the wrong code pasted. I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't save the code. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, so this is a little wacky because I'm, I'm adding an account that already has two factor turned on. So it didn't like pick up the fact that there's two factor because I didn't set it up with this 
with this browser. But um, if I had logged into my real account where I had already set up two factor, it would have already, it would know, you know what I mean? Because we're, we're using a completely different Vault Warden account that's not set up in Twitch. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, what I'm getting at is um, boom, boom, boom. It's that easy. So you, now you've got yourself a nice secure browser. We'll get out of Twitch because we don't need to be there. And actually, if I refresh this, oh, your vault is locked, bitch. And I can turn that off. There you go. You can already see there's my new account. It's, it's saved. It's good to go. And even more, if I want to get in here, I can get in here and I can actually add that authenticator key here, which I'm not going to do because if I actually paste that, you guys could actually like theoretically screenshot that and you would have my my um, one-time code key. You would be able to generate your own one-time codes and then all you'd have to do is figure out that password, which, yeah, I mean, good luck, but, you know, and I don't think anyone here is going to do that. But so there you go. That's, that's, that's how Vault Warden works. That's like what it looks like. You can see it's it's real easy. Just log into websites and and capture your passwords. If you don't, if you don't want to do it that way, you can get even crazier. You can get even crazier because you can go. Um, I gotta remember where to do it. Uh, my vault? No. There is a way to import, and I don't remember what it is. I think it's up here in tools. Yeah. Okay. So you go up to tools, import data. So I can like import from a file. And you can select different types. So like if you're coming out of Chrome, in Chrome, you can export all your passwords. Firefox, you can export all your passwords. LastPass, KeyPass, you can export all your passwords. If you do that, you can import that file in here. It will save all your accounts and passwords. Boom, done. Does it get fucking easier? All, all good password managers will have that functionality. That's not just a Bitwarden thing, but it's one of the things I like about Bitwarden, okay? And then Ditto and Bitwarden, I can export it. So if I'm like, eh, I don't like this. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm going to move to whatever. I can just, I can export it straight out. And that's something I love about Bitwarden. They make it easy for me to get my data back out and I can then do something with it, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. And so, cool. You've now got a nice solid um, place to keep all your passwords. You got to make sure you got a good, strong password on your Bitwarden account or your LastPass account or whatever. That is not like anything else you use. It's got to be completely separate. And now I'll, I'll give you my tip. I'll give you my tip for you want to come up with a good, strong password and you're not sure how. So here's a good way to do it. Here's a good way to do it. Come up with a sentence that makes sense to you. I think I've talked about this before. So, um, um, let me see here. Uh, okay, so let me let me pop up Word here. I'm gonna pop up a window capture. I didn't do this before. Um, <laughs> I really should just do desktop capture, honestly, but um, I think I already have uh, an Acrobat. I'll just do that. And we will have it capture Microsoft Word. And then we will turn this bitch on and it will show up somewhere. So there's Acrobat. Oh, wow. That's trimmed down from when we read the book together. You guys remember reading the book together? Imagine reading books together, y'all. Wouldn't that be fun? Maybe we'll do it again. All right. So here's here's Microsoft Word. So, for example, here's a password. Um, my, my wife is Harpy and I love her very much, even though she has bad taste in music. Okay, I'm gonna remember that that sentence. You don't need to make it that long. But so now a password from that can be M W I H A I L H V M. Like, let's just say you you only make it that. Like, that's a bit too long to like throw around. How funny! I cannot. My my mouse cursor is white in Word. Okay, so there you go. That's a pretty easy. That's a pretty good complex password right there. M W I H A I L H A I L H V M. Throw some numbers at the end of that. So I put, um, um, let's do, let's do that. And then, um, that, okay. That's a, that's an amalgamation of a couple different things, you know, like part of a zip code. That's part of a birthday and part of an address. I'm going to know it all. That's a pretty good password. Probably nobody's going to guess that it doesn't, it's a hell of a lot better than, you know, something like that. Right, because I'm Lanids, and it's not hard to figure out that I was born in '77, or um, you know, or or like, you know, 
Lanitz Harpy 2002. Not a good password, right? Everybody knows Lanitz. You know who Harpy is. It's probably not hard to figure out that 2002 might be a, a big year for the two of us because we talk about often how we've been together for more than 20 years and da 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 da. You know, so, um, or that, you know, we met in 99 and we were together and, and, and tied up, you know, three years later. So you get the idea. But you use something like this, it's easy to remember. You know, all you have to remember is my wife is Harpy and I love her very much. Or my, my dog is big and silly, you know, or whatever. You come up with a sentence like that. It's a good way, you know. Another good way of doing it is just, you know, uh, this is a classic example from XKCD. It's just put together multiple words that don't make sense together, you know. Like, I think the example there was something like uh, horse uh, battery connect or, or battery stapler. I don't remember. You know, something like that. And then you throw some numbers in there. It's going to be a pretty good password because that's got a lot of entropy to it. Passwords, it's all about entropy, all about the total length. The longer it is, it becomes drastically more secure, especially if you involve special characters and shit. So make sure you have a good, strong password. Anyway, okay, cool. So now all your passwords are secure. You, 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 spend the, you spend a day on the weekend, you get all your shit, you got your vault warden going on, you're a happy little camper, it's great. How does that help you? It doesn't, it doesn't at all. You have to share that information with, with somebody you trust. Um, and so here's how I do it, here's how I do it. Harpy and I have a linked account in Vault Warden, this organization thing, and every important account that we use is in is in that organization, and the organization is the Lannids family, um, which is she and I. So all of the passwords for our mortgage, our bills, the credit card, the banks, all of those, regardless of whether it's my login for the bank or her login for the bank, and by the way, if you share a bank account with somebody, like if like you and a spouse or you and a and a significant other are joint owners of an account, you need to each have your own individual logins to it. Because theoretically, if you're logging in as as if you're like, well, my boyfriend set it up and I'm logging in and I just use his account. I use his credentials. Yeah, but if he's gone, that gets terminated and now you don't have access. And you may not have control over when that happens get your own access to any account you're a signer on any account that's in your name make sure you have your own independent login to it even if you don't use it have it that's what we're fighting with right now with my dad i'm having to get um signer access and electronic access to all these accounts that he set up that i have power of attorney over him over his trust and over you know i have full legal authority to access it all but because of how he set them up I'm having to go through paperwork hell to get added onto them all electronically because he he specifically didn't allow that originally, um, and I'm a, and in in this case it's just yeah get get yourself your your electronic access set up now, and, and ideally use your own and then let your spouse or significant other use their own. Is it more complicated? Marginally. Does it matter? No. You have a password manager. It's easy to remember. And if you need to log in as the other person, just you can use their password manager and do it. It's really nice. So here's how we do it. All of our stuff is saved in that organization, um, which, which helps. And then there's a bunch of other stuff that's maybe only in my vault, or maybe I forgot to move it over. Harpy needs to get into my vault. Lannids is now dead, right? Lannids is now splattered across the road. Harpy has the following things. She has a pile of meat that have been sent to a local crematorium. She has a mound of grief. She has a very upset dog and cat. She has this that miraculously survived the wreckage and is functional. She has no clue. And because I'm a dick, I forgot to have her enroll her fingerprints. So she can't, she can't put her thumb on it and unlock it. So that's what she's got. And now she's got to pay the mortgage. What does Harpy do? Here's what Harpy does. Harpy goes into our, our room. Okay. Harpy goes into our into the the, the 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 room where we keep the things and she opens up this bad boy. Right? She pulls the key off the place where she knows where the key is. And she opens that up. And inside is an envelope that says, open if I'm dead. She opens the envelope, she cries, she pulls it out. There's a note that says, I'm very sorry I'm dead. I won't tell you what it says beyond that, but that's actually how I open it. I'm saying I'm really sorry that I'm dead. I hope I didn't fuck up. <laughs> I think is how the first line goes. 
And so the first thing in there is my password for my phone. You should have a password on your phone for the love of God. If you don't have a password on your phone, I don't think you really can not have a password on your phone, but a fucking password on your phone. And if you just use a pin code, please, 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 please upgrade to an alphanumeric password. It sucks to type in, I know, but please upgrade to an alphanumeric password on your phone. It really does help keep you more secure. I know like 99% of the time, if some asshole steals your phone, they're just going to wipe it and sell it. They're not looking to, uh, to like crack in, but that can change, you know, that can change. Um, and, and you never know if somebody's not going to like, Hey, let's just see, is their password one, two, three, four? Oh, fuck it is. Hey, look, they have Venmo. Well, I just made $3,000 or whatever you've got in your checking account, you know? So, um, keep a good password on your phone. And also, fuck, uh, I won't get started on Venmo. I won't get started on Venmo. I promise. That's a whole different topic. So this is a fire safe. This is a fire safe and everybody should have one. Um, they're small. They're light-ish. I mean, this one's probably pretty light. Mine weighs about 100 pounds. Um, it's a, well, no, no, it's like 80 pounds. It's a lot, but it's a lot bigger than this one. Um, but this is a very basic fire safe. It's rated for about a half hour, which is long enough for most house fires to be put out. Um, it's probably not going to keep your, your documents safe through a total loss, you know, charcoal, you know, like burn melt steel type fire where there's like nothing left but concrete slab. It's probably not going to work through that, but your normal run of the mill house fire that burns for 20 minutes before the fire department gets it out. Um, it, it's going to keep you safe. It's going to keep your documents safe. Note that doesn't mean intact. <laughs> it doesn't mean they're going to be great. It just means they're going to be safe. Like they might be a little curled. They might get wet but they're going to be safe. So, and, and, and inside this firebox, you're going to keep your, you're going to keep your note. You're going to keep your death note. You're also going to keep a USB stick with any important files, an electronic copy of the death note. Um, maybe a picture, you know, just of you saying, I love you or something, or a little quick video, give them a little something, you know, give them a little something. You're going to keep a USB stick or something like that, or a CD or a DVD, whatever, whatever. You're going to keep that kind of shit in there. It doesn't have to be a lot, right? It can be one piece of paper. 40 bucks is a fair amount of money. I know, I know. And I just want to reframe it, you know, because a lot of people like you look at this and you're like, I don't know, does it matter? Think about you on your worst day and think about is 40 bucks, like what would I have given? Like, is, is it worth 40 bucks to spare me a little bit of pain on my worst day? Like when I'm already so low, I will pay anything. I will pay anything to spare her any heartbreak extra during that period. Anything I can do now to make that easier for her is worth it, right? That's how I'm looking at it. That's how I'm looking at it. You don't need to go crazy because 40 bucks really is not the end of the world of an expense. And this is very much a one-time expense. Like this thing is big enough. Um, this will hold everything Harpy and I need at this point. Uh, I bought a bigger one because we had all my dad's documents in it and we had a lot of extra shit in there that we've now pared down. And now it's just like, in our case, it's our mortgage records for this house that we live in. Um, marriage certificate, uh, some other stuff. Um, it does matter. We had a horrific flood and we had 1.5 feet of water in our basement apartment. If I had all our shit together in a safe, we wouldn't have lost our marriage. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's like your marriage, can you get it back? You can, you can absolutely. You can call the de department of vital records and this and that, and you can figure it out. You can get a birth certificate back and get a marriage certificate. Um, Harpy just went through that. She had to, you know, she'd been trying to get a fucking real ID. And in California, to get a real ID, you have to have a, a document pertaining to every name change you've ever had, which uh, for the people who wrote the law is no big deal because they're men. <laughs> but, you know, what if you're a woman and what if you got married in the 80s and divorced in the 80s? Harpy didn't, you know, Harpy didn't get married and divorced in the 80s. Um, it was in the 90s. But, you know, what do you do if you're like, you know, like way pre-record, you know, great. Those can be fun to find. And what if what if the courthouse had a flood? And they lost a lot of paper records, say, in 2000. And that divorce record is no longer existent. Well, there's a fuckload of women in California who are going through that right now and can't get real IDs, which means they can't, like, go on military bases. And it's real hard for them to do shit like fly. Um, so, yeah, that's and it's not real ID is not a California thing. It's a uh, it's a um, federal thing. But California's implementation of real ID and their, their restriction on the requirements for it are a little strong. Um, and, and especially in terms of like, hey, we, we have your license and you've already proven your name to us well enough to get a license from us. 
but that's not enough. We need you to go back in time and prove every name change you've ever had. So, ugh. but uh, yeah, exactly. I can, but it took three years. Exactly. It can be a headache. And if someone just died, I don't want her to go through that. I don't want anybody to go through that. Right. I can't fly. I can't fly soon because of not having a passport real ID because I've been waiting to change my last name, which was dependent. Yep. 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 You're so now, now take that whole scenario, Emmy, but put that back 30 years ago. And now you're dealing with like all that, all that, like, okay, we got to go into the basement. We got to search for it. I remember one thing like we needed and we were talking to the vital the, they're like, well, we're not really sure if we can find it, but we can look, it will cost $60 an hour for us to go look. We can't guarantee we'll find it. And it will take at least eight hours, like minimum charge. And I'm like, okay, but this is your responsibility to keep this. Why do we have to pay 500 fucking dollars? for you to look and maybe find it. And it turned out that, that, you know, we didn't need it. So anyway, 40 bucks, well worth it, man. This is called insurance. This is called insurance. It's gonna help you out. So get you a fire safe. I'm not telling you that this one's the best one. It's just the first one I pulled up. Um, it's, it's roughly similar to mine. Get you one that can hold legal size paper. This one's six inches high inside, I think. Um, no, probably not. No, no way it's uh, inside. There we are, 3.5 3 inches inside, right? So get you something that'll hold ideally legal size paper. I think this one holds letter and uh, and is a couple inches tall. Like, you know, think about a couple inches, right? That's like a ream of paper, that's 500 pages. Even with envelopes and shit, it's gonna hold a lot. It's gonna hold a lot of info, especially if you can put some digital stuff in there. Digital stuff that goes in there, put it in a couple Ziplocs, like put it in a Ziploc, in a Ziploc, in a Ziploc. In a Ziploc keep that you know nice and tight it'll help with water it won't help if it gets submerged but it might help so get you one of those and you put you put your death note in there okay get your death note in there so your death note we'll go back to that let's talk about the death note an actual fucking death note this time all right so death note okay lands is death note Section one, section two, section three, section four, boom, done. That's it. This is all it needs to have. Okay. So my phone, my phone password, boom, vault warden, my Warden password. All right, let's see. Like, like my passwords are at vault.orksandcats.com in my case. And the email is bdlandis at landisbooks.com. Password is password. Okay, notable bills. We have mortgage at blank and then website due on you know the first okay um geez i can't spell today right so mortgage you got your rent you got your whatever you know put your we're talking big bills bills that matter right anything that's not like you know really Put like anything recurring in here, um, in my opinion. Um, and I know that can be a lot. This is another really good way for you to also kind of just keep mental tabs on where your money's going. So if you if you list out, you probably don't have to list like your fucking Spotify account, your Twitch subs, right? That's a little much. But you know, a mortgage, if you use credit cards, your credit cards, your uh, utility accounts, uh, insurance, you know, car insurance, uh, if you pay for your own medical, you know, something like that, um, et cetera, okay? You wanna have you wanna have all those kinds of things here. Just put the website, so is it in your last pass? Sure. Does Harpy have any clue what website to go to to pay our mortgage? Probably not. Harpy hasn't paid a mortgage, I don't think ever, ever. And that's nothing against Harpy. I've just always done it, right? Every, every time. Ditto with the rent. Harpy never paid the rent. She knew how to do it because I made sure she knew how to do it. But um, because they had an app you could do it through. But she never she never had to. I did it every time. You know, and a lot of people you use auto pay. Like, Lance, I don't need to do this. I use auto pay. Yeah, you do. 
But what happens when the bank figures out you're dead? They're probably going to start rejecting payments to that account unless they know, A, that someone else is on it, that that person wants the auto pay to continue. That person has to have been in contact with them. Oh, wait, you're not authorized. Well, we can't take your word for it. We're still going to deny the auto pay. Fuck, now I got to pay the mortgage. And God damn it, I'm struggling with the bank. And uh, you get the idea. We're making it easy for them. We're making it easy for them. Okay, so you write down your notable bills. You write down where the bill is, what institution, what whatever, what the website is, and then um, they can use your last pass to get to it. So, and the reason for the phone password is because, you know, that way they can get your text messages and shit if you get codes via that, right? Last but not least, other info. You have life insurance. If uh, you have any, uh, like, you know, hey, I will. Will is in the safe. Um, poor Will. Um, if you don't have a will, I mean, that's, that's all right. You don't necessarily have to, you know, that's up to you to determine if you should or not. Um, you should get an advanced directive. Advanced directive is very easy. We'll talk about that too. An advanced, well, we'll talk about that right now. An advanced directive is not a will. It's strictly about medical care, right? So it's, it's an advanced directive is a document saying what you want. If something happens to you, if you become incapacitated, who can make decisions for you? It's kind of like power of attorney, but it's more restricted. Okay. But here's the thing about an advanced directive. It doesn't require a fucking notary, I don't think. Most places, a, a witness is enough. So you need to sign it, and then a couple of witnesses, one or two witnesses need to sign it, and that's it. And boom, you've got an advanced directive. And you can follow that, um, or they can follow that. Like if you go to the hospital or something, you know, once once the smoke is cleared, your significant other can follow with the hospital and go, hey, he's got an advanced directive. It says do not do not resuscitate, or he wants to be made comfortable, but don't prolong, don't take heroic measures to prolong his life, um, or he wants all measures taken, you know, da da da, and you guys can talk to me. It's it's a way of codifying your wishes and leaving no doubt about what you want. So like in my case. Um, I want them to take reasonable measures to, to save and prolong my life. As long as I have a reasonable expectation at Harpy's judgment of a good quality of life after, in other words, if, um, if like, Hey, we can save Lannids, but he's going to be blind. He's not gonna be able to speak and he's quadriplegic, <laughs> not the best quality of life. And, and we're not sure, but, but we can try and save him. Let me go, you know, and she knows that. So that's, that's the kind of stuff that like an advanced directive kind of talks about. It's like a two page document. You can just Google advanced directive state you live in. You'll get the form. It's real simple. It's real simple. It's, it's a nationwide thing. Um, it's just a way of, of handling your wishes. Everybody should have one. If you have anybody in your life that you trust to like look out for your best interest or just take care of you, if you can't take care of yourself for a minute, you know, um, be it a sibling, a parent, a spouse, a child, whoever right if, if they're gonna be a child they gotta be over 18 they gotta be of age you know probably not too many folks in the chat have children 18 but you know in 10 20 years some of you will okay so that's what you need to put in your death note cool so i just splattered across the highway and harpy went and got it got the death note and it's um so it says uh my phone password is OP5. Da, 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 da. My vault warden, uh, my, my passwords are at LastPass. The email address is bdlannis at hotmail.com. We have a bill. We have a mortgage at 53bank.com. Uh, the mortgage is for the house at, at da, 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 Duncan, Oklahoma. In other words, I haven't updated it in six fucking years. Whoops. So that's a piece of garbage. That does her no good. That doesn't even give her a way of proceeding forward. So the death note is only good if you update it does not do you any good connecting to chat why are you connecting to chat you suck there you go <laughs> obs is just over there dropping so the death note is only good if you update it so you need a reliable way to update it how do you know when to do that how the fuck do you even know when to do that how do you remember well i have a very easy way of remembering it i update it every daylight savings time it simple as that clocks change i update it doesn't matter if i just you know and yeah i know like back in the day it used to be about six months between them and now it's like three months and nine months or whatever right they're real quick it's not three what is it five months i guess like but they're pretty quick back to back so um they're um it's not getting updated you know evenly but it's already it gets updated twice a year 
the chance of anything major happening, chances are pretty good. Like, let's say I just updated it in, um, let's just say I updated it back in, uh, back in November, the last time the time changed, but ah, oh, fuck our mortgage just changed. You know, someone bought our mortgage, which we can't control. So now we have a different provider. Well, chances are fairly good that Harpy is going to remember that. Oh, that's right. We have a new provider and she'll be able to suss that out. So even though it's out of date, it's only out of date by six months. She stands a lot better remembering that versus fuck. This is all about stuff in Oklahoma. Okay. Who did we get? Who was who the original provider? Who was the second? Fuck. I don't know. What do I need to look for? And yeah, yeah, yeah. You can look at the mail. You can go through it. You can go through the email again. It's just about making it easy. It's just about making it easy. So when I update the note, I got a document here. I make the changes to the document. I print it out. I throw the old one in the shred or I rip it up and throw it in the garbage or recycle or whatever. I take out the USB stick. I save the new document on the USB stick. Done. We're done. It takes me not even five minutes. And then I go around the house and I do my other things. I also change like uh, air filters. I change water filters. Uh, um, those I do every year. I do those in the fall every year. Um, but the air filters I do every time. And I check the smoke alarm batteries and I do them every year, regardless of whether the thing's beeping or not. I just do them every year in the fall, but I check them. I test them every time the clocks change. Those are all things it's, and it's easy to remember. I just know oh, daily savings. Got to go hit all the smoke alarms. Fucking easy. Keeps us safe. Don't have to think about it. I don't need a routine. I don't need a reminder on my phone. I just know every time the clocks change, if they get rid of daylight savings, then I'll put an alarm on my phone or something to simulate it. But there you go. That's it. That's it. So that's how you make life easier on somebody's worst day, right? Write your shit down. Use a password manager. Make sure that it's securely stored in a place they can get to it. Also, we hit a level two hype train. That is an all time record for us, which is pretty cool. Uh, I know it's only level two, but I don't give a fuck. I'm happy with that, bro. So anybody have any questions? There is no test. But do any of you have questions? Do you have thoughts? Do you want to know more about what I've talked about? I know it's all very obvious. I know it's um, I know it's nothing revolutionary here, but what I'm trying to impress is how easy it is to do. It really is. It's easy to do it and it's easy to keep up with it. And it can help so much in those in, in if, if shit goes down, you know, you can help the people who come after you. And and, you know, I fought so much so much with my father over this shit and he would not do any of it because he trusted me enough to have power of attorney over him but he didn't trust me not to steal his money while he was alive um he didn't trust anybody he wanted control over it and by the time he finally started losing you know his shit to the point where he really wasn't able to to manage it himself or make good decisions for himself we're just having to go through the ringer dealing with it and getting put on all the accounts that he wouldn't set up because you know he thought the trust and the power of attorney were good enough they are good enough when he's dead when he's dead i don't have any problems it's gonna be easy really easy he set that up beautifully the problem is he's not dead <laughs> the fucker's alive and so getting control of them while he's alive and borderline competent is much much harder to do so we're having to go through all of that um and you can, you can get around a lot of that by just doing a little pre-work here. Just do a little pre-work. Make sure the right names are on the accounts. Make sure, you know, your shit is shared. And uh, and there you go. It's good to think about it and see it made so I can remember it that way. Good, good. Yeah, I mean, it's just literally, this is all I do. This is what my thing has in it. Four things. My phone, my vault warden, where the bills are, what needs to be paid when, and then um, any other relevant info. Like if you got life insurance, if you got a retirement account, things they should look out for, right? Like, like a good example, in my case, my stepfather. My mother and father divorced long ago. My mother remarried shortly, uh, I don't know, like a couple years later, and then died a couple years after that. She, she and my stepfather were not married very long. Um, but so her will left all of her stuff to him, as it should, with the, with the contingency that then, if and when he, well, not if, when he passes away, my sister and I will receive whatever is left of her estate, if anything, um, back and, and realistically, probably his estate too, because he has no, no other real family, um, to, to, uh, to, to bequeath it to. So, um, but that would be like something I'd put in here, you know, like 
so-and-so's estate or da 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 you know this triggers this other thing or um just other relevant information but like especially stuff like i've got retirement accounts at blank i have a 401k at blank where you have bank accounts you know just all that kind of shit, right oh we going grim today well a little bit a little bit um just talking about shit to how to make life easier right how to make life easier if if you don't come home from work one day basically because it can happen it can fucking happen. I mean, there's somebody in our in our Twitch universe here, uh, an old timer who who's not an old timer, who uh, is gone, and um, it was unexpected, you know, and it and it hit some people who knew them pretty, 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 you know, pretty hard. Um, you know, it just happens, man. Like you, you don't know what's gonna happen on the freeway. You don't know what's gonna happen. You know, drop the fucking pan and. Whoops, you slip, you know, you take a shower. That's all it takes, man. You take a shower. <laughs> Sometimes that's all it takes. You know, you'd be astonished how many people kill themselves in showers accidentally. Or uh or or just, you know, got an old house and that outlet just wasn't grounded, and this time you plug the thing in just right and you're out. Noted, no more showers. Works for me. <laughs> Works for me. Great. Mm, it's been lovely. So there we go. But that's how easy it is to create a to, to create a password manager account. You can do it on any of these places. I personally really love Bitwarden, but I use Vault Warden, which is the fully unlocked like corporate version of Bitwarden. So my opinion is is colored because I don't use the free one, and I think there are some things missing in the full version versus in the free version versus the full version. Um, I get the benefit of the full version that the disadvantage is there's nobody to help me if something goes wrong. I'm on my own, which is why in my case, I also in that password thing in that in that death note, I have a printout of all my passwords from the vault. So if something goes wrong, because Harpy's not an IT person, Harpy, I love her. She's brilliant, but she's not IT. If this server decides to shit the bed after I die. She's up a creek. <laughs> all the passwords are gone. So also every six months or when daylight savings rolls around, I just I go to that little export thing. I go up here and you know tools, and I export my vault, and I put that file. I, I do a CSV personally. Um, I export that file and I save it on that thing. Now here's the important thing to remember though: you got to then keep that fire safe secure, right? Keep it in your house. Keep it keep it someplace out of sight, out of mind. Keep the keys secure. Because now all your digital passwords are in a plainly readable file on there. So it's all about security and it's all about keeping everything safe. And uh, and there you go. You know, your situation may be different. You know, if you live with someone, you know, like if you live in a house, but you don't necessarily live with all people you trust. Like what if you have roommates who are good friends, but, you know, they're not your loved ones. You might need to modify this a little bit, right? Like you maybe you don't want to leave, you know, a USB file that has your shit on it, or you don't want to leave your phone password on a piece of paper in a safe, unless you can put that safe key somewhere else, like a safe deposit box, or you can keep that information in a safe deposit box at a bank, um, which are very reasonably priced for a small one. Um, usually most banks have the little safe deposit boxes. They're like this big and they're like this long. You can fit quite a few letters in there and you can fit a lot of USB sticks in there. And you'd be surprised if just one piece of paper and a USB stick will do for you. Um, take a bath, you can't drown. Um, true, true. Our tub has no slide things built into it. I love that. I hate tubs that don't do that. I'm, I'm, I'm a big boy, so I slip and slide real fucking easy. The minute there's water and any soap on my feet, I will. Sh so I've got a, I've got a mat that I, that I have in our shower and keep put down. But um, our next one, man, when we rip this tub out, we're gonna we're gonna go fancy. We're gonna get a nice one. We're gonna get one of those old motherfucker door open, walk in, sit down, fill up kind of things. Maybe I don't know. That's like eighty gallons of water. Water water ain't cheap out here. Of course, I never take baths anymore either. I just shower. I like you know. I want a shower head. I want a shower head with some pressure, and I want to steam blast the undercarriage. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about for me. It's a necessity with the amount of conditioner I have to use. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I get that. God yeah, especially in your case, Emmy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a you got a mountain of uh, a mountain of hair to deal with for sure. So there we go. Um, does anybody have any questions or thoughts on that on that fun matter? Our bath is very old, so it's very very small. I hate bathtubs that are from like the fifties and early sixties, man, where they're like not even eighteen inches deep usually, and and it's like you know they're like twenty four inches wide if. 
if that, and maybe four feet, five, five feet on the longest five feet long, but most of them are like four and a half. All I gotta say is pink matching tile and you'll, yup, yup, yup. That's exactly where I'm going with that. So there we go. That's, that's the death portion of today. I just wanted to talk about that. I wanted to kind of vent about that a little bit and just, just put it in your guys' head. So takeaways again, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hammer it again. Use a password manager. Last pass. I don't love it. I don't think you should use it personally, but if you do, so be it. Um, you know, that's, it's better. It's better than not using one. I will say that, <clears throat> but do consider Bitwarden, uh, one pass. If you want to do local only and not have like, like a web-based one, which is more secure, but harder to, to deal with key pass is a great option. Um, but get you a password manager and then write the shit down, write the shit down, at least the password to that, the password to your phone. Um, write that down and put it someplace safe. Even if you don't get a fire safe, but for the love of God, consider getting a fire safe. Um, it really is just a good investment to have. It's worthwhile. Um, if you live in an, in an apartment or, or a house and you share it with other people that you don't necessarily fully trust, keep it in your car, you know, because I mean, yeah, somebody can steal it there, but same thing. Like, I mean, what are the chances? You know, it's just, you can make trade-offs, you know, you can make trade-offs. So anyway, um, try those and, and, and just write the shit down and update it every time the clocks change. There you go. Should only take you a couple minutes after the first time you do it. It's real easy. And that couple minutes, I view it as insurance. You know, Harpy and I have a, a, a generator, a gas powered generator, gasoline powered generator. We've never had to use it for any long period of time. Um, the first one we bought, we had it for 13 years. We used it twice. We never had to use it. We just did because we didn't know how long the outage was going to be. Um, but for that 13 years, we did not worry about ice storms and the $260 it cost me to buy it was very worth it. It was a buck 25 a month money well spent for that peace of mind for 13 long years of not having to worry about power outages in Oklahoma, which, um, you know, that may not matter in a lot of places like, um, you know, you may not have power outages the same way or whatever. So I'm not saying get a generator, but. I'm saying peace of mind. Don't underestimate the value of peace of mind. Um, and it feels good. And it also serves as a check for yourself. You know, like just thinking about all that stuff, looking at the money stuff that you write down. You might write down like what accounts we have. And you're like, you know, I don't know. Do we actually fucking need that? Like, God, I haven't used that. I haven't even logged into that Spotify account, let's say, or whatever. So, God damn, like we don't use that anymore. We should get rid of that, you know? That will be a whole different topic, like some financial uh, tips for like, you know, pruning your financial life down a little bit. Maybe we can we can cover that someday. I got advice for you, for you little millennials and fucking Zoomers, you know, stop buying avocado toast and you pull yourself up by your boot. No, no. Lanitz knows. Lanitz knows, you guys. I know. But nonetheless, there's still stuff you can do to like keep an eye on your expenses and, and try and keep them in check you know some budgeting tips and shit like that budgeting is hard it scares a lot of people a lot of people don't do it um probably some of you do probably a good chunk of you do but if you don't i got some tips that, that could help you so that's that we're done we're done i'm not going to talk about that stuff anymore with the rickets coming back we won't be able to pull ourselves up by the bootstraps you can't pull yourselves up by the bootstraps when the motherfuckers pulled the ladder up behind them you can pull yourself up by the bootstraps all you want, but you're still stuck down in the mud looking at the ladder above you, 50 feet above you while they laugh. You know, that's that's the fallacy of that line of thinking on their part. Fuck those guys. I got opinions. I got opinions. Uh, while being fully cognizant of the fact that Harpy and I were born in the right time and place to still be able to at least, if not like seize the dream, you know, to at least do, you know, come out of it okay as opposed to uh to people younger than us who are having to work just as hard as we ever did and and are not going to have the benefits that we do now in life and probably will may not ever have those benefits i think they will in time i think i think shit's going to change eventually but i don't know how it's going to change or like what what shape it's going to be you know like i was talking to somebody i was like i don't know man like how do you how do you uh how do you like redistribute wealth and how do you how do you undo the fuckery that is modern society in the country and and like i mean most answers lead to revolution you know i don't know i'm not smart enough to know you know what i do know i know we're gonna play some games why don't we play a game 
before we before we run everybody off with all this this depression <coughs> excuse me goddamn and of course firebot now says disconnected trying to reconnect <coughs> let me reconnect it here because that pisses me off i need to be able to see it i need to be able to see it universal base income we get that by severely taxing the rich i say i say go go beyond taxing the rich taxing the rich is all good and fine that's not where the problem is um we've been we've been we've been very strongly led to condition and think that and, I, and I, again i'm not speaking against it per se but now what we really need to do is tax the companies the companies are where the money is not the rich um in the 50s corporate tax rates were around 50 percent beyond a certain threshold of profit if you had over x amount of profit your tax rate wasn't it went up very quickly to like 99.9 percent .9%, basically 100 percent tax once you hit a certain threshold um and what that meant was that companies were forcibly incentivized to either lower prices to keep their profits low thereby benefiting all of us with lower prices or to invest to to increase their own internal expenditures through r d um and and drastically pump up their their uh the amount of money they spent in research and development and infrastructure and and internal operations expansion etc and what did that fuel it fueled the 50s and 60s the biggest boom in american history and the world uh was fueled by that corporate tax rate and and then it got repealed in the early 80s by a certain guy and uh, stock buybacks were made legal. They were illegal, and that's when it all really began. That's the the seeds of it were planted before, but that's when it that's when the fuckery really came to come to roost. You undo those two things, you get about ninety percent of the way there. Um, yeah, going after rich individuals because the thing with rich individuals is that most of them aren't rich um, at all. You know, like like like. Um, you know, I mean, think think of any big dumb fuck who's got you know billions and billions of dollars, right? They don't. They actually don't. Like, they have billions of dollars of net worth, but that doesn't mean they actually have the money. And the problem with taxing, yeah, you know, and a lot of people are like, well, it's easy. We'll just tax. We'll tax the stocks they hold on the un unrealized gains. It's like, well, yeah, but the the problem with that is that there's no real retirement infrastructure in the United States. And that then immediately subjects 401ks, <laughs> like everybody's retirement vehicle, to massive, massive tax burdens. Um, and how do you pay? It, it basically removes the ability for any normal, normal human being to ever invest money if you have to pay tax on it without selling it. So you either have to sell your stocks off to pay the taxes on the gains that you've got. But then when you sell them, you have to pay tax on the gains as well. So it's double dipping, or you have to have the money in hand to pay the gains, which can be substantial if you buy a stock that booms up and blows up. And in the end, you're gonna just incentivize people to not invest in the markets at all, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but isn't the goal, right? The goal is to diversify the income and get lots of income. Going after unrealized gains isn't the way. Closing the loopholes on unrealized gains when they're realized, that is definitely valid. But I think going after the company is first and foremost, because that's where the real fuckery is happening. And the companies are the ones that actually are like controlling a lot of the messaging about it. Rather, I know the billionaires control a lot, but it's really the companies that are owned by the billionaires. If you go after them, like if you go after Tesla, you're gonna hurt, you're gonna hurt the dumb fuck in charge of it far more than if you go after him directly. You know or if you go after you get the idea so uh so yeah you go after the companies go after the companies in my opinion first step and that really does like financially that gets you the entire way there because as much as we don't like them there aren't that many super rich people there's a lot of them and they got a lot of money but really it's the companies that's where the big bucks are and that's where you can really fund some shit. and you get into like universal basic income becoming real like you could actually do it in a livable way for a significant amount of the populace and uh any place that's been tried loan oh no they'll just sit around and not work and do you know bad things they'll do insert boogeyman i don't like here whatever fucking drugs have children whatever um 
yeah, instead, what actually happens when any place that's tried universal basic income, people have fucking flourished, you know, arts bloom, new businesses pop up, you know, because I mean, we're human, like we like to work, we like to do shit, we like to build, we like to make societies, we like to, it's ingrained in us to do all of those things, like at a fundamental fucking genetic level, let alone a societal level, like we, we are builders and collaborators, it's just who as a species we are, we're a social construct, we're an animal. And uh, if you free people from the grind, then they, they start to build beautiful things instead of just grinding and becoming meat for the machine. And I think that's awesome. And I want to see it. I want to see it happen. I'm, I'm here for I'm here for it. I'm utterly here for it. I'm a filthy little socialist. I freely admit it. OK, let's get some settings changed here. Um, We're not going to go full screen. We're going to switch you to 1920 by 1080, my sir. And let me find my, we'll turn off Edge, we'll turn off Acrobat. Thank you very much, boys, for your services. Um, just got to find my game. Bear with me. Bear with me. Okay, there's the game. Got to find the audio. There we go. Okay, you should have audio. So eloquent. Well, not very eloquent. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe I'm eloquent. <laughs> Sometimes I can be. I don't think I was there at all. All right, I'm, I am gonna pause the music because I wanna hear the game. Okay, you guys should hear the game. All right, this is this is a this is a demo of a game called Breachway. First off, love the cell shaded graphics. I think the cell shaded graphics are just tight. Uh, I'm loving the look of them. I'm gonna lurk and do dishes so I can play Deep Rock Survival some more. Sweet, thank you, Obi. We're gonna be playing that after this as well. So this game is a it's a it's a space based exploration <clears throat> and combat game. It's a roguelike. You, your goal is to get across the sector, or get across the galaxy or whatever, get across the map. You can pick which system you go to each jump, you know, and the combat and shit or whatever. Like when you get in fights, it's resolved via a deck building system. So a card game, you know. So as you outfit your ship, like I put pulse lasers on my ship that puts these cards in your deck and I have mark three shields that puts these cards in your deck and i have skilled engineers that puts these cards in your deck and when you get in combat the deck will you know you get the idea i hate deck building games generally i mean i don't i got nothing against them like i don't hate them in the sense like i think they're trash i just don't enjoy the i don't enjoy them myself um sometimes i do like i played hearthstone a bit and i liked it i mean obviously i played magic back in the day i've talked about that you know, I played Magic when, like, Magic was all there was. The very first one. I played at the, what was that, 97, I think. When I when I played the first expansion, I think I first played it, 94? It was right after it came out. I think it came out in 93. Anyway, so, but but hard, uh, card games are not my favorite to play. You know, I love the art, and I like the look of them, and I, I think it's cool watching pack breaks and shit. Um, but I don't love playing them and digitally. I, I, I really like that goes even farther. Cause it's like, okay, you took away the thing I liked, which is like the art and seeing them and collecting them. And you know, cause digital collecting cards, who fucking cares? But, um, you, uh, and you left me with the combat part or the playing the game part, which is not my favorite part. So anyway, but I was watching the video and it looked, it actually looked like it, it kind of worked. It kind of made sense. And like in the in the mode of like, it's a spaceship, I can kind of get it like, oh, the lasers aren't ready yet. So that's why you don't have a card for them. Or, you know, the engineers have, they're all scrambling to deal with the damage they took. That's why you don't have that card available right now. You know what I mean? I feel like I grew out of deck builders. Valid, valid. I think, I mean, it's, yeah. I mean, tastes change, right? Tastes change. You know, I've, I've come, like I used to play hella 2D platformers back in the day. I love 2D platformers, man. Mario, Mario 3, Super Mario World. I went fucking hard on those games and I was good at them. I I, I can't do them anymore. I, I don't even remotely enjoy them. It's like I was telling Athena, right? Athena wanted me to play the Risk of Rain remaster and I tried it. I just could not get into it. It's a 2D platformer, um, roguelite. But I've played Risk of Rain 2, which is a fully 3D game with all the same weapons and classes and it's basically the same game except it's 3D. Fucking love it. Played the hell out of it. 
but Risk of Rain, the original remastered version, I, I just, I could not make it work. I could not make it work in my brain. I just could not have a good time. And maybe that would be different with multiple players, but I, it's still going to struggle with that, that fundamental 2D platformer thing. So let's, let's get rolling. Let's do a new run. Let's, you know, as much as I do about this game now, let's see what she looks like. Um, ooh. Let me, uh, let me switch my game over here. Game Breachway. Okay. A sudden jolt awakens you as you hear the distinct beeping of doors opening. As reality creeps in, you slowly recognize your surroundings, the cramped confines of your quarters on the Atlas. Lena Starling. Lena says, hey, wake up. The captain wants, us to, wants to see us on the command deck. He seems pretty agitated. And you look groggy as hell, so just let me do the talking. Okay? We'll head to the command deck. There's an unusual flurry of activity as you enter the command deck. The captain, studying the data feed on one of the consoles, beckons the two of you over. Captain Quinn. Our infrared sensors detected a large explosion in Solari space. Right where one of the research stations is located. Whatever they're up to, it looks like it didn't go as planned. Funny, because Solari is what um, is what I call the 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 people of Sol in, in the Ossipi. The people, you know, Martians and Earthers. People who grew up in the Sol system, I call them Solari, um, versus Centaurians who grew up in, in Proxima and Alpha Centauri. And then, um, you know, Sekmeti, they grew up in, in the system of Sekhmet, <coughs> among others. So anyway, whatever they're up to, looks like it didn't go as planned. Lena says this might be our big break then. Chance to turn this scavenging mission around and not go home empty handed. Yeah, yeah, we're playing games now, Peach. I promised we wouldn't do death shit the whole time. So, yeah, we're going to play some games now. We're going to finish up and we're going to play this and we're going to play some Deep Rock Survival. This is just a demo and I don't know how long it goes. So, but I wanted to try it out with you. Well, could well be we're closer to the station than any of the Solari fleets in the system. We can't risk approaching with the Atlas, however, as it would be picked up by the fleet scanners and we'd be done for. Okay. Bear with me. Getting God damn, I'm getting so many fucking email messages here. Okay, 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 good. What do you mean? What? Okay, good, good. All right, thank you. Very good. All right, appreciate that. A small ship like the Magpie, though, launched at our current speed, could get there undetected. It'll run on minimal reactor capacity using only maneuvering thrusters for flight path adjustments. With all due respect, sir, the fireworks will lack likely attack. <laughs> will likely attract other scavengers by the time we get there. Yeah, I love this character art too, Peach. It's the ships and shit. They got a really cool, uh, nice cell shade look to them. And this art style matches to it really fucking nicely, I think. But I really like the way these people are drawn. Those sharp, angular features like Lena here. She's got she's got um, real hints of uh, Eon Flux to me. Real hints of Eon Flux going on. Um, just with how sharp and angular her features are, I think. Which is why the lieutenant here is tasked with protecting the magpie in case things go south. I'll assemble a team while you make the necessary preparations. Report to the docking bay in 30 minutes. Okay. This is the ship status screen. You can view statistics such as the number and types of hard points, starting equipment and crew. Each piece of equipment carries a few starting cards and the capacity to add more cards as you play. Equipment requires an assigned crew member to function. Okay. Ship selection. If you want a better look at your ship, you can orbit the camera while keeping the left mouse button pressed or use the scroll wheel to zoom. Once you are done inspecting, click on accept. Okay. Okay, so here's our girl. Here's a little magpie. Look at her. She's tiny. That's a cute little thing. Just a little baby. So we got a laser cutter attached, which has slice three times. It has four energy points, which I'm going to guess is like mana. 50 of whatever the hell that is. Maybe maybe hit points. We got a launch bay. We got a basic ass shield. And we got basic engineering, it looks like. Okay. Doesn't look like we can really do anything here, so we'll we'll continue on. But so like Lena is is our tactical officer. We have Tristan Singh, who's a tactical officer. And we have Ivan Bronco, who's a uh, who's a gunner. And then AI is is a gunner. Okay, all right, all right. Let's see what we got. I'm loving the look of this shit, man. It's it's like right up my old... Uh... All right. 
If we just follow the nav points I laid out, we should be at the wreckage in about two days, then we rendezvous back with the Atlas. We just stick to the asteroid belt as much as we can to avoid detection easy. I don't really see why the captain decided to put you in charge of my ship. Uh-oh. Watch your tone. While we're on your mission, this is your new captain. This reminds me we need a new FTL. I have almost bought FTL so many times, and every time I back off, and welcome in, Orenfell. I, I, I back off every time because I'm like, fuck, it's like 12 years old or 10 years old. You know, like, do I really want to buy it? It's like, yeah, I kind of do. But And I've been saying that since it was like five years old <laughs> or longer, probably. And I just keep not doing it. And I really should because by all accounts, it's a fucking great game. Ivan says, come on now, we got a mission to do. We can fight all we want once we're back on the hauler. Good man. Soon things settle down and everyone's at their assigned post. Time to start familiarizing yourself with the ship's command console. Yes, sir. Okay. Shipwreckage. Hmm. Okay, so I guess we're there. Boop, we have moved. Your console flashes a warning, indicating combat near your flight path. Not long after, the infrared sensors flare as the ship explodes. The remaining ship changes course heading in your direction. Fuck. Fuck. There's no way their sensor spotted us. We've been running cold for almost a day now. Just our luck then. Their flight path will take them right within radar detection range. Fuck. Okay. Guess we fighting. I think you can rename the crewmates to whoever you like. Oh, okay. This is your hand of cards displaying the actions you can take each turn. Each card requires resources to play, shown as a number in the lower part of the card. Okay. The colored number next to the icon indicates your current energy. The white number shows your energy income at the start of the next turn. Resources carry over. Okay. So we have six energy. We make four per turn. So we can kind of like burst up if we want to. All right. Enemy actions are based on their equipment. Each piece of equipment has a card slot indicating the next action. Cards gain one pip each turn. When all pips are filled, the card's border turns white, signaling that it will be played on the next turn. Oh, okay. So like, does that mean these take two turns to fire? Like we can see them put these out and then, I think I get it. So like if this card is put out, it's gonna take two turns to activate, then he's gonna fire his lasers. And probably that card has some shielding, so like maybe we can attack it. Okay, cards gain one pip per turn. When all pips are filled, the border turns white, signaling that it will be played. Okay. Okay. You play cards by dragging and dropping them over the crosshair region. Attack the enemy by playing two slice cards to advance. Yes, sir. Okay, slice. Takes three energy, deals four damage. Okay, and we just... I like that. That's cool. Pew. Okay, so that happened immediately. Oh, it doesn't have any pips, though. That's why. Okay, so yeah, and this is, yeah, at 40, that's his hit points. So this will take another four. He should go down to 10 hit points, and he did. Press the end turn to advance your enemy's turn. Okay. Yep, it's just straight up turn based card combat. Shields are your primary defense with each shield point blocking one damage. Shields have at the start of each turn, so deploy shield cards just before an enemy attack for maximum effectiveness. Oh. Okay, okay. So we have no shields, <laughs> we just have hit points. Okay. The enemy ship is about to attack. Play a block card to prevent hull damage from the enemy's upcoming attack. So I guess we can play blocks right now. You are now shielded. Oh, okay. After playing a card, it moves to your cooldown pile. Cooldown duration is indicated by the number next to the icon. By the time icon. I don't see that. Once off cooldown, it returns to your draw pile. Press tab or click the card status UI for an overview of cards in your draw pile in your hand or on cooldown. Okay, so we got three turns till that shield block comes back and two turns for the other lasers to come back. Okay. I mean, so we have some shields. What do we have? We have four points, and he's going to hit us for four. That should work. Pew! Okay, very cool. So he dropped our shields. He's going to do a shield pulse now. Persistent effects on your ship appear above your card hand. 
Some effects last for a set amount of turns while others have an upkeep condition. Okay. I'm going to guess that's target lock. Deal plus one damage. Upkeep. Play at least one attack per turn. Okay. I think we can do that. Let's, uh, let's upkeep this motherfucker. We're going to target lock this bitch. And we're going to slice this bitch. Let's go. Pew. Fuck yeah. Eat that damage, bruh. Okay, and so now we'll, we'll want to end turn. He's not going to laser pulse us this turn, I don't think. Nope, but he did shield pulse, and he just got some shields. Now next turn, he's going he's gonna to laser pulse our asses. So we need to fire my lasers. Enemy shields down. And then probably, I mean, I, I don't think we should put the shield up now, right? Like we put it up next time, it said. So like we do that. Oh, no, we do. Okay. That was my bad. Fine. So yeah, like we'll put up our shields. shields up, Captain. You know what? Yeah. Actually, we really didn't need to do that. Okay. Now we'll put up shields again, and we're going to slice them. Shielding enhanced. Pew! And he's dead. Eat shit and die, you nasty dude. Okay. Shouldn't have taken damage there, but I don't care. We got 25, whatever, credits. The area is starting to get pretty lively. We should expect more combat on our approach to the station. Looks like we're not the only ones stupid enough to raid a Solari facility. I mean, that do look like Jupiter, doesn't it? Too late to hide our presence now. Asking for permission to restore the reactor's ordnance protocol. That should allow us to squeeze more power out of it. It will also improve our laser's photon output. Permission granted. Override the safety's, the cutter's safety protocols. We'll need more firepower. I, Captain, that should enable it to emit concentrated laser pulses. Won't be a military-grade laser, but it'll be close. Okay. You now have access to the Ordnance resource. Ordnance is the main resource for attacks. Open your ship's status screen to inspect your resource area. Okay. You have one allocated reactor power. Left click on the ordnance resource to add your extra reactor power to it. Oh, okay. Oh, so like we could take it out of energy and put it into ordnance. You can redistribute power between your resources at any time. Right click on energy twice to remove two power from it. Left click to add two power to ordnance. Okay. Okay, so three ordnance, two energy. Click the button again. Done. Okay. I guess we just continue on. We got a ship closing in on an attack vector. Dun, dun, dun. Looks like pirates. Fuck pirates, dude. I am the captain. No. Fuck pirates, dude. I hate pirates. Okay. Resource distribution. You can redistribute reactor power anytime in combat. Right click on a resource type to remove a point. Left click to add. This lets you shift your income to suit your needs. Adding one to a resource generates the heat. Heat changes take place after playing the next card. Okay, so heat's going to matter. This is, this is going to get complicated. Ships have a heat resistance and a dissipation value. Resistance is the amount of heat it can safely sustain before overheating. Dissipation is the amount removed. Each point of overheat deals one whole damage at the start of your turn. Okay, so you can really shunt your power around, but you're going to take damage if you do too much. So you kind of want to plan it ahead. Okay. Well, in this case, so this dude's got a laser pulse ready to go. So I definitely want my shields up. Shields up, Captain. Thank you. And and, and I kind of want to target lock this some bitch because he doesn't have shields up. And I definitely want to beam his ass. We're going to beam the fuck out of you, bruh. Wait, why can we not beam you? Oh, shit. It took energy. Oh, shit. That's all right. That's all right. We'll, we'll, we'll hit him next turn. I should not have done that. I should not have done that. So I fucked up by doing the target lock early. Okay. Oh, my God. Heavy blast, 10 points. He's charging a heavy blast. We need to take out that laser. Yeah, fuck that, dude. Cards with the blank icon, like Laser Pulse, are precision attacks that can target specific enemy equipment. Okay. Drag and drop these cards over enemy equipment or card in the UI over a piece of equipment to attack it. Okay. All right, so we can we can try and blast his laser. I'm a fire in my laser. 
Each piece of enemy equipment has a durability value. When the durability hits zero, it breaks, preventing any actions. It's automatically repaired in three turns. Durability damage from precision cards is indicated by the X icon. Okay. Okay. Yo, cards in space. Yeah, it's kind of fun, Athena. It's uh, it's a roguelike game. Um, sort of procedural run across the map. Um, and then you get equipment that changes your card deck. And I think you can actually modify your deck later too. We're literally just getting started. It's just a demo, but, but we're checking it out because it looked kind of fun, even though I don't like deck building games very much. Um, I, I can see some potential. You can right click to discard unwanted cards, freeing up a slot for a new draw. They go on cooldown just as if they've been played. Consider discarding car cards that are not useful in the next few turns. Well, I mean, Beam Sweep might be, but I'll tell you. Okay, so what do we got? We got eight ordnance. We got only two energy. Well, let's definitely pop our energy and try and take this shit out. Pew. Fuck your laser. And we'll laser pulse your laser again. Okay, one more hit to the laser will be good. And we are now good there. So, I mean, it kind of wants us to throw these away. I kind of don't want to, bro. That's a nice, that's a nice attack. I think they told us that for a good reason, though. I'm going to throw it away. I'm going to throw it away. Okay. You can right-click to discard. Da, da, da. I know. I know. So he didn't do shit. He's about to pop his shields up, which is fine. We got one more turn on the big lasers, so we really need to hit the big lasers. Fuck. Um, we do not need to put up our shields yet, but we do definitely need to put our lasers up. Or, or hit him, at least. All right, well, we'll hit him. Okay. Oh, I guess that hurt his, his heavy blast anyway. Okay, so his heavy blast is down. He is going to get his shields up, but that's literally all he can do. So we ain't worried. Okay, so he's got a bunch of shields now. <laughs> I should have thrown my shields away. Well. That was a fuck up on my part. Okay. What do we got? All right, so we can target lock his ass. We can laser lock his ass. What do we got? We got eight and six. Oh, we're doing pretty good. We're going to play all three. We're going to target lock him. No. No, we are not going to laser pulse him. We're going to beam sweep him and try and bust those shields. Enemy shields down. Very good. And now... Um, fuck, fuck, fuck. We should get another laser pulse. I think we have one coming up, surely. I'm a, can I laser pulse that? Or should I just laser pulse him? What's he got left? Six hit points? Just laser pulse him, right? Pew. I mean, or should we do that? Well, let's destroy his shield pulse. No more shields for you, motherfucker. Okay. All right, so now he's he's back up. In theory, if we can... Uh, I mean, we can just do this. Burn, bitch. Burn, bitch. Poof. And he is gone. Okay. Ooh, we got an infrared emitter. What's that? Any attack from this weapon deals whole damage, adds one heat. Let's go. Clicking on the flashing subsystem to add it to your bay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, bro. We should look at the mass refiner module. We should hook up the mass refiner to the reactor. It's crucial for improving our power output and strengthening the shield system. Okay. Do it. It was originally meant for deflecting dust and asteroids, not high-powered lasers. I can modify it to suspend high-density particles in a magnetic field, diffusing laser beams and absorbing kinetic force. This improves defense, but requires mass. We have also salvaged a functional subsystem from that ship. I'm sure we can put it to good use. It might help us get out of this in one piece. I'll be claiming that as reparations for my ship when we're back on the Atlas. The Magpie will need a new coat of paint once this is all over. Dude, fuck you. I was put in charge of this thing. So, first off, Tristan, you can eat my whole ass. You can now upgrade your reactor with credits you gather on your journey. To upgrade your reactor, open the ship status screen. Okay. So that's what the credits are for. Click on the upgrade to... Okay, it gives you just more reactor power. Easy, easy. You now have access to the mass resource used for both upgrades and repairs. After you upgraded, add your upgraded power to into mass by clicking on its resource. Okay. 
subsystems enhance compatible equipment on their cards with various effects. Drab and drag and drop the subsystem from the cargo bay. Only one subsystem of the same type can be added to equipment. Okay, so that on there. All right, so that is now a. Can we can we click? I mean, I did put it on there, right? Hmm. Hmm. That's funny. I can't. Okay, there it is. I see it. Infrared emitter. Okay, done. Okay. Well, that was easy. I guess we go on. Blech. The remains of the station are in view. Things seem quiet, but tension in the crew is palpable. Judging by the infrared emissions, there should still be some functional equipment we can salvage in that section over there. Combat training. Look at the fluctuation in those readings. I'll bet you a week's rations that there's a ship lying in wait to spring an ambush. Prep the laser and let's go around and get the jump on them instead. Circle around the wreckage and attack. Advantage first attack deals plus three. Move closer to the wreckage to get a better read. Oh, fuck. We have to choose. I'm going to DM you something. Okay. I'll look. I'm looking. I'm looking. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> I'll remember. Noted. <laughs> Lannan's noted. <laughs> um, fuck. What should we pick, you guys? Should we, should we jump them? Should we jump? So, so our dude is willing to Ivan's ready to willing to bet you that there's a ship over there and he thinks they're ready to spring an ambush. We're at a trash station. There's somebody hiding. They could be hiding because they need help. They could need help. So we can either jump on them and get a little a little extra advantage, deal an extra bit of damage, or we can get it. I feel like we should take a look. I mean, should we be aggressive assholes here? I don't know. Anybody got any thoughts? Anybody got any thoughts? I gotta check my messages real quick. Okay. Okay. God damn. Okay. Lots of messages. I'm 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 gonna pick. I'm gonna pick. Let's move closer. I think let's not be dickheads right away. As soon as you approach an enemy ship emerges, weapons ready. Fuck. Well, you know what? I stand by it. I stand by it. We don't go in guns. But ooh. Holy balls. Okay, so he's got he's got a hell of a laser pulse. Crew members have abilities that you can activate at will during combat. To inspect crew abilities, hover over a crew member's portrait. They do not use resources. They cost command points and have a cooldown. Your command point capacity is determined by the amount of crew, plus three max command points per crew member. So we have eight out of 12. Okay, so we can have dude overload the cannons. Eh, eh. We can next shield gives you plus fifty shield points. Love that. Gain two of each resource. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, all right. So we we do have okay. So he's got shields up. Fuck. He has no heat. Fuck. We do have a laser pulse. Um, I mean, do we just pop everything to begin with? I kind of wonder, like, what is this using? It's using mass? Fuck. Okay. I feel like, I mean, do we want to go all in hard on the first go? I mean, like, all right, so this will take four energy to use them. Three. Yeah, we've got enough resources to fire everything. Fire everything. Um, hmm. I definitely think we should pop our shields up. But we don't need them overcharged because this, what'll it be? Four shield points? Yeah, we're gonna get six shield points and he can only do four damage. Oh wait, no, no. He can do more. Okay, he can do eight. Yeah, we need to, we need to overcharge our shields. So big shield up, big shield up. Okay, we got our big shield. And then do we, I guess we can target lock him. How strong are his shields? Six, no, yes, yes. He's got six points in shields. We need to do double damage, basically. Yeah, that's only plus 50%. So we're not going to be able to punch through them in one shot. Well, wait. No, it will, though. Yeah, so if we do double damage... Oh, we don't have enough command points. Next turn, we'll do double damage. Next turn, we'll do double damage. Let's just, let's just take this first hit. Yep. Oh, those missiles are delayed. That sucks. That's all right. That's all right. 
You can track missiles in the lower left part of the screen. They have a delay of one or more turns. Hmm. You can shoot them down with missile defense cards. Okay. All right. Well, so in one turn, we're going to take four damage. So for starters, for starters, overload our shit, brother. Can you not? Oh, I guess not. That's funny. I guess command points don't regenerate. Shit. I thought they generated each turn. Woo. Woo. Alright, fine. You be like that. We're going to target lock you. And we're going to laser pulse your ass. And I'm going to laser pulse your laser gun. Fuck. And I'm not going to block. How much shielding do I have? I have three. We're going to take a point of damage. We can live with that. We can live with that. Oof. Oh, I should have shielded. Okay, he's going to he's gonna fire again. We're going to block. Yeah, I guess you don't get more command points. I, I really figured you'd get those every turn, too. All right, well, there's nothing to do here but just go on his ass. And I'm going to pop her, and we're going to do it again. And just hurt him as much as we can right now. Okay, good. Now he's burning. Burn, bitch. Burn, bitch. Good. Okay. So once again, if we can throw a shield out, great. Um, I'm going to laser pulse. What should we laser pulse? Then? This, I, I hate his lasers. I hate them a lot. Drop some shields. Okay. Once again, we took a little tiny bit of damage, but we're in good shape. He's burning in space. I love that. I love that for us a lot. We're going to blow his fucking laser up because I'm sick of that goddamn thing. No, we're not going to block yet. We are not going to block yet. We're going to just end turn. Let him continue to burn. And we're done. Hmm. Nice, we got a missile pack. Love that. Click on add a card to select a card to add any piece of equipment. Okay. Oh. Okay, so we have a shield amplifier now. A catalyst pulse deals four damage. All pulse cards deal plus one. Oh. Extra capacity. Adds one card slot. Ooh. Love that. Pick a card to add to your equipment. Uh. Oh, my, no, dude. That's a good shield right there. Hmm. One card slot. Costs one mass for every existing. Hmm. I'm going to say that one. Ooh, star flare missile deals six damage let's go okay that sounds good that sounds good so far so good morale determines oh my god there's so much to this morale determines the rate at which your crew's command points recharge on entering a node some choices in events can affect it morale temporarily or permanently okay area clear no further hostiles deploying a recon drone Look behind that plating. Every black box, the black box in the station's main data storage and backup unit. It's bound to have a lot of valuable data we can sell. Who knows what they were cooking? True. Are you out of your mind? If Solari catch wind of us stealing that, we're as good as dead. We need a new air recycling and ventilation system back at the station, don't we? This is why we went on the scavenging run in the first place. This will bring in enough credits for all that and more. Enough squabbling. We've got a limited window before more hostiles arrive. Our orders were to retrieve all valuable salvage. Let's get to work. The crew quickly works to retrieve the black box and fill the magpie's cargo bay with any valuable salvage they can find. After the work is done, you set course for the rendezvous with the Atlas. Okay, open your ship's UI screen to inspect your salvaged equipment and install it on your ship. Drag equipment from the cargo bay and drop it on the appropriate hard point. This will add an extra card slot and the cards from that equipment into your deck while you're in combat. Okay. We now have a launch bay with a basic missile pack. I'll take it, I'll take it. And I guess we move on. Incoming tight beam transmission from the Atlas. Magpie, this is Atlas. We've got a situation, of course. The Solari have flagged us for interrogation. Fuck. They most likely got all their sensors pointed at us until we meet their patrol ships. Any attempt to pick you up will incriminate us both. We'll be fine, but I'm afraid you'll have to return to the station on your own. Keep your burn minimal and maintain a low profile until you're clear. Roger that. Stay safe. 
I've heard about Solari interrogation methods. I wouldn't want to be on the Atlas right now. Solari are bastards. I mean, as a as a member of the soul system, I can confirm that that humans fucking suck. And we love nothing more than making other humans and other things suffer. So, yeah, I wouldn't want to be interrogated by Solari either. You know, the rest of the universe is like, man, stay the fuck away from there. That's a backward shithole. That, that planet, like, just leave them alone. They're going to nuke each other soon or, or die to a plague. Don't worry about it. See, they're working on it right now. There's an alternate route we can take that will keep us away from any major flight corridors and known Solari fleet positions. Should work. We have enough Delta V and remaining fuel to get us to the station. Set the alternate route. This will take us straight through deadweight controlled territory, though. A solitary scavenger ship is sure to attract attention from these pirates. We'll best be on our toes. Okay. There are two pathways. Main paths, shown in blue, are only allow forward movement. Secondary, marked by thin yellow, go forward and back. Moving a, on a node... Moving to a node on a secondary path consumes one fuel. Okay. So is that fuel? Probably. I don't know. I'm assuming that's fuel, maybe. Well, we can't go that way. Waypoint. Disliked. Nobody liked that. Captain, we've intercepted a distress call. A civilian transport is under attack by a deadweight raider. They won't last long without our intervention. If we reroute power to the thrusters for max burn, we can intercept in time, pulling the raider's focus. That's too risky. It would leave us exposed during the approach. The deadweight could attack us freely, and we'd be defenseless until combat systems are online. It's a calculated risk. Diverting their fire from the transport to us is the only way to save that ship. Our hull should hold against a barrage. So in other words, we're going to take a beating. Fuck. Distract the pirates and save the civilians. Gain morale, but the enemy gets the first attack. Wait until the weapons are charged. We'll get the thing. Or stay out of it. Return to base. Fuck. Fuck. I mean, like, I like the morale, dude. I like the morale a lot. But on the other hand, I kind of don't want to. I kind of don't want to fucking die. I mean, they're innocent civilians, dude. They got nothing. They got there. I mean, but they shouldn't be out in space. What are you doing flying around like fucking morons? In pirate space, what are you doing? What do you mean? Why would you do that? That is not the play. That is not the wise move. We're going to save them. It's the right call. Preparing for the maneuver now. Well, we'll see. Probably not. You divert all power to the engines and fire up the thrusters to max capacity. Before you long, the deadweight ship stops firing and turns its attention to you. Oh, they're going to pump us. They're going to pump us. Oh, my God. Flak barrage? Ow. What is that? Flak weapons. The enemy has a flak cannon. Flak inflicts random damage. Attacks have a shredding value. Hold damage from a flak attack that is equal or higher than the attack shredding value triggers a shred status each shred raises the flax minimum damage by one shred decreases by one if not reapplied oh fuck that okay so we really 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 want shields up we really fucking want our shields up big time and i do not like that weapon damn deals four damage and ignite three fuck Okay, well, shields are going up right goddamn now. Um, we have four points. Woo! That's, that's great. I really should have overcharged those shields. I mean, should we just beam sweep them? Just give them, a, give them a little taste. Let's give them a little taste. Have some heat, bitch. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Burn, bitch. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll sit with that for starters. All right, he's going to pump us. Okay, good. Shields held it. We did not get shredded. Oh, fuck yeah, bro. Fuck yeah, bro. Okay. I'm, I'm thinking, how's our shields? What do we got? We got two? It's not a lot. We're going to save those command points for if we get in trouble. And in the interim, so we got two shield points. He's going to fire a laser burst this turn. We're going to star flare him. Right off the bat. Patoo. Very good. And then uh then we can throw a laser pulse at him. So we're gonna we're gonna 
I don't like that flak gun. We're going to get rid of some of that shit right now. And then... Yeah, we'll just we'll pop this up too. Well, yeah. Yeah, we'll pop those shields up. All right. That should keep our shields going. We should be okay. Good, good. Okay, we're going to get flacked. Oh, fuck yeah, bro. Oh, fuck yeah. That was that was delicious. Mm. Mm. Okay, can we target lock him and laser pulse him? Yes, we can. We cannot do that and shield. If I can target... Oh, wait. His, his flak barrage is already down. Okay, we do not need to do that. We do not need to do that. Um, we'll target lock effect missiles. Just plus one damage. And we can upkeep it if we attack once per turn. Okay, we'll do that. We'll target lock him. We're going to missile him. Missile is in flight. Okay, we have played an attack. He doesn't have anything he can do. Boom. Eat shit and die. Absolute creeper. Okay, if we can pop his lasers, which will take three... Fuck. We can pop his lasers. I don't think we can, but we can try. We can do this. So we need to hit him one more time, but uh, but we can do that. And now we can do it again. Now we can do it again. Now his lasers are gone, and he's going to burn to death. Burn, bitch. So he can't do nothing, and... Oh, fuck, he didn't burn. It's all right. We'll just beam sweep him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was delicious. Ooh. Ooh. What's this? A, P a PDC. Okay. Sweet. So we got we got uh, air defense gun. You know, a defense gun. Fucking love that, bro. Auxiliary equipment. Jesus Christ, there's a lot to this. This this tutorial comes at you hard. They, they do not give you a, a ton of time. You know, it's just like boom, 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 boom. A mechanic every, you know, 30 seconds. The point defense cannon is, goes in an auxiliary mount, providing effective defense against missiles. Auxiliary equipment operates without a crew member, but doesn't add an extra card slot. Open your ship's status to equip it. Yes, sir. Okay. Badoop. On we go. You come across an abandoned repair station. A large part of it has been stripped clean by scavengers, but upon closer inspection, one of the maintenance bays is still functional. Dock an attempt to do some repairs. It might not look like it, but some of the equipment left here is actually in good working condition. Your engineer gets to work with the assistants and rest of the crew. A few hours later, the hull is looking better than ever. We picked up 12 hull points. Love that. Okay, on we go. Sir, a gunship is getting ready to fire. They must have some stealth tech that kept them hidden from the magpie sensors until they made their way into direct engagement range. Fuck. We've got an incoming hail. Okay. Ooh. He doesn't look like a nice guy. There you are, little magpie. We've been looking forward to have a word with you. Bitch, the only word you want to have is DACA. This doesn't need to get messy. Hand over the data core you've got in your hold and you'll fly away unscathed with the rest of your salvage. Power down and prepare for boarding. Captain, if we power down our reactor, we're as good as dead. We're dead either way. We can't take a light cruiser on in this ship. Then we go down swinging. I'm not taking orders from a pirate. <laughs> Apparently, we don't have any other option. Engage enemy. Engage combat patrol. Blah, blah, blah. Engage combat protocols. We make our stand. It saddens me to hear that you chose violence, Captain. Bitch, I'm 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 bland. It's a man orky style. We always choose violence, motherfucker. The data core is designed to withstand thermonuclear blasts. Don't expect us to hold back. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. He's got 75 hit points. And oh, my God. He's got all kinds of shit. Careful that spread shot can shoot down our missiles. Yeah, so we need to deal with that piece of shit quickly. All right. What's he got that's open? Spread shot? Nothing else is happening this turn. Okay. Okay. I feel like we should target lock him immediately and try to keep doing that. And let's let's hit his spread shot. And he is he is gonna shoot. I mean, what does this do? Deals zero to five damage. It's a flat gun? Alright, let's do get some shields up then. You are now shielded. Okay. We're gonna wait on spending any kind of command points. Okay, just a little bit of shield. A little hit to the shield. Alright, now we gotta now it's bad. Now it's bad. We're going to get a laser pulse. We're going to get another... Fucking A, this sucks. 
If a missile is incoming, destroy a missile. L steal three damage. Hmm. Don't really want to use that at the moment. What's this do? Expand capacity. Costs one mass for every existing card slot. Adds a card slot. Okay, okay. So we need to save a mass unit, right? Yeah. Which means no shields. But we really need to put shields up. Fuck. Hmm. We're going to save the command points till we're in trouble. Um, I'm going to fire a missile. I'm not going to fire our PDCs because I don't, I don't. Yeah, we're going to end the turn there. Okay, that should take our shields. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Okay. All right, what do we got? We have been shredded. Oh, he took a fat, fat load right in the face. Love that for us. Okay, so first things first, um, we are going to blast a PDC. Enemy missile is down. Goodbye, missile. Fuck you. We're going to expand our capacity right now. Yes, let's go. Um, and then we're going to hit him with the laser pulse again and try and deal with that spread shot. And this is going to hurt. This turn is going to hurt. Is there any way I can easily get shields up? No. I mean, fuck. I could do that and get two points, but uh, I think we're just going to have to eat it on this one. We're just going to have to eat it. This is going to hurt. Please don't cripple me. Okay. That could have been a lot worse. That could have been a lot, lot worse. Oh, we can beam sweep his ass. Good. All right. So we need shields up. We do not have a missile in the air. He's aiming. Are we target locked still? We are not target locked still. We are target locked still. Good. All right. Let's beam sweep him right off the bat. Okay. That hurt him. That hurt him nicely. Love that. His spread shot's down. Fuck yes. Really love that. Um, oh, I really wanted to block. Okay, so he's going to fire a missile. He's also going to fire a laser pulse. That sucks. Mm, I really don't want to use this card yet. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Incoming missile. Okay, there's a missile. We're going to PDC burst it. PDC burst. Excuse me. PDC burst. Missile gone. Enemy missile intercepted. We're going to... Beam sweep him. Fuck, we've got to get shields up, bro. Gonna beam sweep him. Okay, I am going to pop this, get shields up, and I'm gonna discard those two. So we get all new cards now. Let's go. Okay, good, good, good. All right. So we can fire a couple laser pulses. Hmm. Oh, he can blind us? What's that do? That sucks. Mm -hmm. I don't really want to take his star flare down. I don't really care too much about his beam sweep. I do want to just straight up star flare him though. I'm going to throw one beam. We'll throw it on this. Yeah, we'll throw it on that one. Okay. We'll let that, we'll let that sit. Okay, lost some more. Okay, we really need a PDC cannon now. Oh shit. Target reached, Captain. We did not get a PDC cannon this turn. That hurts. That hurts. All right, let's laser pulse that spread shot because that thing fucking sucks. And that is all we can do. We have no, yeah, we can't do anything else. Oh my God, bro, this is gonna hurt. This turn's gonna hurt. Oh, I knew that was going to be bad. And it was. Missile is in flight. Okay, there's nothing we can do except eat it. Um, We can put three shields up, though. Well, yeah, let's... Uh... Hmm. 
Laser pulse is spread shot or beam sweep him just for raw damage. Let's do this. Oh, wait, we can't. Oh. We won? Why did we win? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why we won. We didn't destroy him. Looks like we arrived just in time. The director dispatched us for your safe return after hearing about the Atlas incident. Hmm. They got chased away. We'll continue the pursuit of that ship. Your path to the station is secure. Okay, they ran away. Yeah, they ran away. That's what happened. We did we did pump him a little bit. Pump and don't. Okay. Home station up ahead. Preparing docking procedures. Once docked, your ship's spin gravity, your station spin gravity kicks in. You and your crew disembark, head to your station quarters to rest, while dock workers start unloading the cargo bay. A few hours later, you're called to meet the station director in her office. Okay. What's up, station director? I've had our researchers look at the data you brought back in the black box. While heavily encrypted, Rin managed to extract some data on the research they were conducting. Okay. What's up, Rin? Look at her. She looks she looks crazy. What a what a cool looking chick. It has to do with the anomaly that swept through our system a while ago, knocking out a large part of our electronics. Ooh. The equipment aboard the research station was able to extract some sort of information from it, leading them to believe it was a message or signal of unknown origin. Hello? Hello? Their data shows multiple star systems within the Breachway network were similarly affected, which led them to trace the trajectories to a set of coordinates where they converge. Whatever it may be, this information is too dangerous to keep here. The Solari will come looking for it sooner or later. If they're already moving their fleets to they're already moving their fleets to close the system's breachway access points, they don't want this getting out. Take the black box with you and leave. Rin will accompany you and further decrypt the data. Judging by the Solari response, this signal might lead to something important that could shift the balance of power. Me and Ivan are joining you as well. We want to see this to the end. We are preparing a Corvette class gunship in the hangar for you. Let's fucking go, bro. Posing as a mercenary will allow you to move freely within the Breachway network without raising suspicions. Once you are ready to leave, head to a random system in the Breachway network and start making your way toward the signal. This should make it more difficult for the Solari to connect you to this whole thing. Godspeed, Captain. Yeah, so now the roguelike part theoretically begins. Oh, fuck, there's our ship. Look at her, bro. Look at her. She's so cute. I love her. I love her. I love that design. That is such a tight looking little gunship. She looks fucking dangerous, bro. She looks nimble. Look at those engines. Fuck yeah, bro. I like that design. I like that design a lot. Like the front with that communications array. Shades of the Ossipetes. Ossipete. Shades of the Slaco from Aliens. Thank you very much. Okay. A well-rounded ship that strikes a balance between offense and defense. It boasts a pulse laser beam. That performs best in multi-attack bursts, destroying enemy equipment with ease. Oh. Oh, shit. There's different ones. Okay. The Marauder. Reach the sector boss with the Arbalest to unlock. The Lancer. Not available in the demo. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that, that, that looks like a rail gun, bro. That looks like a double-barreled rail gun, and I want it. I want it inside me so badly okay that is that's very cool dude i love this ship so we got like a that's probably like a shield thing or a communication thing big fuck off engines big healthy engineering section and a big fat pulse laser plus this on the front another little module there maybe okay Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, fuck. Here's the whole thing. Most map nodes are under the control of one of the game's factions. Events at these nodes are influenced by your standing within the controlled faction. This is what the guy, uh, Obsidian Ant is the channel I'm talking about. This is what Obsidian Ant was talking about, that your choices have major meaning as the map goes on, and it drastically influences how the map plays out. And the map, I think, is random every time. Most map nodes are under the complot. Da, 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 da. Some events can present choices that modify your relations. They're grouped as followed. 
If you have one pip, you are hated, and it leads to negative outcomes and possible ambushes. If two to three, you're disliked. Uh, four to five, standard. And if it's six, you're an ally. They'll, they'll support you. You get better rewards. So we are allied with the free roamers, and the Starkin like us, or are neutral to us. The Solari really don't like us, and the pirates kind of don't like us. Fuck. Our sensors detect a group of Starkin gunships on our flight path. Looks like they're trying to block any ships from entering the system through this breachway corridor. Okay. Judging by the large number of civilian ships further ahead, the blockade is meant to keep people in. It looks like the gunships are in disarray. They haven't reacted to our approach. If we make a full burn, we can punch through with little fighting. Hmm. Okay, so elite combat. We have elite combat spots at different places. And eventually, all the way up there, we get to the end. I guess. I think that's where we're trying to get, is that up there. Holy fuck. Okay, well, let's go. <laughs> Busy with trying to prevent civilians from fleeing the system, only one gunship has noticed our approach. It's heading our way on an intercept course. Well, oh, okay. He's got laser pulse and shield pulse and neither of them are ready. So we can blast his ass. What's this game? It's called Breachway, Skelly, and welcome in. Um, it's a demo. We're just playing the demo for it. This was uh, a YouTuber I like to watch named Obsidian Ant um, covered this and I thought it looked pretty cool. I love the art style for the characters and the cards and shit. I don't really like card style games, but um, the fact that it's like space exploration, space-based combat, roguelike, and then has a deck system for the car for the combat, I'm pretty uh, I'm fuck. Why you do this to Freaking me, Skelly? Why you do this to really? me? I'm sitting here trying to. We talked about yeah. death. We talked about like heavy shit, and now I got to put. I'm so glad that nobody made me put cat ears on for for the opening part of stream. <laughs> I love you, Skelly. There you go. These are for you, and just even better for you. There you go, 100% for you, and anybody else. All right, so let's let's fuck this dude up. He's trying to stop us. What are you doing? Conservation. What's this do? Gain one uh, energy for every two. Okay, gain one energy for every two ammunition we spend. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Can we spend two ordnance? No. Or we can only spend one ordnance, one card worth of ordnance, so we will not conserve right now. Ordnance surge. Gain four ordnance. Sustain one heat. Lose up to four ordnance on turn end. Okay, so that would give us nine, but we can only spend six. So I kind of don't want to do that yet. Catalyst pulse. Deal four damage. All pulse cards played this turn deal plus one damage. So we do want to play both. Fuck. I mean, do we, do we just want to go hard and just absolutely demolish this dude? Like, his weapons are pretty insignificant. I mean, I feel like let's do. I feel like let's do. All right. Ordnance Surge, active. Conservation, active. We're going we're gonna to pulse your shit. And now we're going to pulse your shit and do a little extra damage to it. Okay, so we, we done fucked to his shit real hard. And now he can't really do anything, right? Okay, so he's going to pulse this turn if he can. And my answer to that is, you can't. You did. So his laser is now offline, and he's got shields coming. Okay, he should... I mean, come on, we blew your weapons. Bolt, dude, get out. I don't want to kill you, man. Leave. What are you doing? I don't want to kill you. Like, I just want to shoot the ship. Can I just shoot the ship with this? No. All right, we'll, we'll fuck up your shields then. Bro, I I don't want to kill you, bro. I got no interest in killing you. Yeah, you got shields. That's great. Okay, save one energy for every two. I mean, that's not really going to help us a ton. Let's, let's throw away one of those shields. We need to keep shooting, though. We got to keep shooting. Enemy shields down. Okay. The reason we're shooting is... Oh, wait. No, there was something I thought. Never mind. It doesn't matter. Okay. Ooh, his laser pulses back up. Fuck. Okay, gain one energy for every two. Ah, oh, shit. We can't really do both of these. Um, well, let's definitely get shields up. And let's laser pulse his laser pulse. Okay. 
All right. Ordnance surge? Yep. Yes, sir. Ordnance surge. Conservation. Catalyst pulse that bitch. Katui. And done. Dude. Okay, well, we got 25 credits. He didn't have to die, bro. We blew your lasers up. You never heard us. Like, you should have known to leave. Why did you not leave? Why you do this? Why you turn us into murderers, man? Hopefully his people rescued him. That didn't hurt our reputation, though, so we're okay. The last fight do, drew the attention of everyone in the area. Multiple ships are approaching on intercept course, but only one of them is close enough to get into combat range in time. Okay, press on and prepare for combat. What do we got? Who's fucking do our shit? Same guys. Mm. Oh, wow, he's got a much stronger shield. Beam sweep deals six damage and ignites three. So we don't want to get ignited. Um, we want to make sure we have a barrier up. Can I take that shield down? Um, if I drop conservation, I'll gain energy for every two. I cannot spend both and we don't have the other thing. Okay, so we're going to definitely pop a shield. And I mean, I kind of want to hold on to that because next turn we can hit him. We can go all up with top with both. Um, let's just laser pulse it. I want to hold on to that that catalyst pulse for a minute. Okay, so he's he's charging. We're good. All right, yeah, that's why I did that too. Fuck, it didn't really work out terribly well though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I didn't need to pop that up yet. We're gonna pop the barrier, the new barrier. Shielding enhanced. Okay, shielding up. And that's all we can really do because we don't have a lot of energy. Probably need to rearrange our reactor situation a little bit. How do we do that again? We'll figure that out in a minute. Okay, so he's about to pump his barrier. Can we do anything about that? Not really, right? Four damage, four damage. So we can do a total of nine damage and we need to do 10. So not great. We don't really care about that. Gain one energy. We are short of energy, though, so we'll do conservation. And we're going to hit him with the catalyst pulse on... Um, well, let's let's catalyst pulse this laser down since we can't deal with the other system just yet. Let's, let's get that knocked out. Okay. I, I don't care if his shields go up as much as I care about his weapons being down. Okay. That's a good place. And we'll kind of see how these play out because I got a feeling we might need to play with these reactor numbers a little bit. Okay, so his shields are up. Our shields are up. We're just gonna hit this. We're just gonna hit him. Patui. And that's good enough for right now. And I want some missiles, bro. Okay. So once again, our barriers are there. I don't really care. We'll get rid of one of them. I'm gonna laser pulse that shield again. And just on general principles, I'm gonna get more shields up. I, I know they decay, but I'd rather have them up, you know? Okay, now we can now we can go a little crazy on his ass. Now we can go a little crazy. So we're gonna conserve. We have five. Fuck. I mean, I hate to use four, but we'll do it. We'll do it. Pop that. Pop that. Pop that. Dead. Goodbye. Goodbye. I wasn't even paying attention to his health. I should have been. Yeah, I'm digging on the game. It's it's fun. It's interesting. I'm not I'm not great at these kind of games. Oh shit. Well, <laughs> so there's a space station that we'll come across. The free roamers here. We're allied. That's good. We got a bunch of unknown shit followed by allied, followed by disliked. A neutral space station. Whoever that is. That's nobody. It's just white. I mean, should we go this way, maybe? I think I feel like we should go this way. This looks friendlier. Why don't we try going this way? Sector gateway. Neutral. After we breach the blockade, multiple ships try to make a run and exit the system. As we mix in with a group of civilian vessels, the Starkin group, gunships, break off pursuit and focus on keeping the fleeing ships in. Incoming message request. It's impossible to isolate the source with so many ships grouped together. Unknown contact. Greetings, Captain. Impressive skills you've shown there. Blah, blah, blah. 
I could use the services of a bold freelancer such as yourself. I'm a data broker by trade willing to offer a generous reward in exchange for some valuable intel. I need to gather data on the most powerful gunships in the sector. All you need to do is send your combat logs to the specified coordinates after fighting two elite ships, and I'll transfer 150 credits on delivery. Oh, and Captain? Pick a weapon from my reserves while you're at it. You'll need all the firepower you can get. Consider it an investment in your future. Choose a weapon. Take the basic launcher. Okay. Open the ship status window and assign a crew member to the newly added missile equipment. Okay. A few moments later, the transport container emerges from somewhere in the group of ships heading for your location. You probably open the cargo and pick up its contents. I mean, it says I have to sign a crew. How do I sign a crew to it? I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah, okay. I guess we do it like that. We'll move AI, <laughs> our gunner to it. Okay. So what's this do? Plus one capacity. Oh, okay. So we can increase our reactor. Fuck yeah, bro. We have done so. Mm, I feel like we're running short on energy lately, so let's do that. Well, we and we can reallocate. All right, so we can go to a conflict zone neutral, another conflict zone neutral. The Starkin don't love us anymore, or they didn't anyway. Or we can go to a conflict zone that's allied. We'll go to the allied zone. An allied free roamer gunship has detected the presence of a hostile in your general area. As you are in direct firing range, you are being asked to engage the enemy ship. The Allied gunship is too far to provide any kind of support. Fuck. I mean, I'll fight it. That's fine. We're helping our buddies, right? Oh. Oh, no. Heavy barrage. Okay, don't love that. Kind of don't love that at all. Mm. Do we need to get our shields up? Yep, he's doing a spread shot. So we absolutely need our shields up right fucking now. And uh, we're going to fire some missiles. And I reckon just because, I mean, should we? Should we do a catalyst pulse? I don't think we should. I really don't think we should. And I do want to keep that. I'm going to let that sit. Okay. He did not get through our shields. All right. Better. Good. Okay. So. We're going we're gonna to go hard, I think. Right, so we need three energy, five energy. This is going to be everything. All the marbles, right? Six, seven, eight. Pop our ordnance. Pop a barrier. Shielding enhanced. Catalyst pulses ass right on that heavy barrager. Laser pulses ass right on that heavy barrager. And fire a couple more missiles at him. Okay. Next turn, we got to get that heavy barrage down. Yep, he blew her. He blew her. That's fine. And perfect. Conservation gain one energy for every two. That's all right. We'll, we'll save that one. But now we're going to pop that shit. No heavy barrage for you, bitch. Get fucked on. Get utterly fucked on. Okay, he reloaded his flak. Fine. Okay, so we still have we still have our barrier. What's What, what do you do, gunner? Anything? Nothing? AI gunner doesn't do anything, so we just got the regular peoples. Hmm. I mean, I guess we just laser pulse him. We don't really... Is he doing anything? Yeah, we can throw the barrier up. And we'll laser pulse him. I forget that that spread shot happens every single turn, so... Ooh, that hit hard. Okay, once again, we'll barrier immediately. First thing we do. Um, hmm. yeah, we'll catalyst pulse. And then we'll... Uh, I meant to... Uh, I didn't think about that. All right, we'll, uh, we'll just do this real quick. Oh, that wasn't enough. That was my bad. Well, oh well. I fucked that up. <laughs> it's okay. That's okay. Nah, eat that one damage. Nobody cares. Well, he's got a little bit of... Ooh, what is all that shit going on? His shit is back up. He's gonna heavy barrage this turn. That's not great. 
Um, let us... What do we have? We have... Oh, shit. We only have... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mm, do we have any tricks? Next attack. Gain four shield points. I mean, we can pop emergency shielding. I don't want to take damage yet. Bro, bro. I was really hoping we'd have a shield right now. We're definitely going to take at least two damage. Oh, not good. Not good. Well, let's do what we can. Okay. Yeah, there's really not much else we can do. I fucked it up. Oh. Okay, it's only four damage. It could have been worse. It could have been a lot worse. Uh, we'll get the barrier up. And we'll laser pulse that spread shot. Get that knocked down. He's got nothing he can do. He's chilling. And now we'll just pop him. And dead. Eat shit. Eat shit. So we took a hit, but it's okay. We only took a hit. I'll live with it. I'll live with it. I wonder what that add a card does. Does something. Hmm. So we can either go to a conflict zone with the Solari who don't like us, or the pirate assholes who really don't like us. But then we can go to this allied area, which maybe is good. I guess let's go there. Traversing Solari conflict zones is strictly prohibited. A patrol ship moves in to intercept. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. I mean, it doesn't look that tough. Heavy barrage, shield pulse. Okay. All right. So he's got strong shields. God damn, his shields go off every turn. Fuck, dude. We definitely got to take those down. Okay. So we can fire a couple rounds of missiles at him. Which I'm inclined to do. Definitely want a barrier. No, we don't care about the barrier right now. Conserve. Fire off a couple missiles. Get some extra energy, you know? Okay, there we go. That's a shitload of extra energy. Which now means we can do that. We'll put a little extra in here and here right now. Okay, so my shields are going to... Oh, 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 yeah, bitch. All right, that worked. That worked well. His heavy barrage still has a minute. Um, We need six... Fuck, we need six energy. Hmm. I think we're going to take one away from there and put it in there. Okay. Let's see. So we can take his shields out right now, but that's going to leave us open to his heavy barrage. Sheesh. Sheesh. All right. I think we can live with that. We'll keep the two barriers to deal with the heavy barrage. We're going to catalyst pulse the shields. And uh, I hate to do it, but I'm going to pop her and pop his shields and done. And now next turn, we'll double shield up and we'll be good to go. Yep, shield up, shield up. And just pop that one because we can. Keep the ordinance. Oh, 10 damage. God damn, good thing we double shielded, right? Okay, so we gotta do nine more damage. All we got to, yeah, we'll just, um, I mean, we might as well conserve, I guess. One more laser pulse will deal with that heavy barrage nicely. Okay, his shields are not yet up. He's only got five points left, and we have enough to do all of this. Great. So that didn't kill him, but this will. Boom, boom, boom. Not bad. We came at it with no damage. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm happy with that. Also, cat ears ended, so I will, I will remove the sacred cat ears. You guys got a little bonus time there. Waypoint. Well, let's just go directly here. Your sensors pick up a massive heat reading up ahead. An elite free roamer gunship is approaching fast. Ooh. You were waiting for it, weren't you? I know you. You little shitter. You absolute little shitter. Just for that, Athena, I'm not going to tell you the story of this weekend and what happened and what we did because because we got up to shenanigans and 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 that's all I'm going to say. 
I'm keeping my info sacred. Like Peach hasn't already told you. <laughs> we didn't get up to anything too crazy, actually. We did not bake cookies, though. I do have to be clear. Like, I do want to be open and transparent about that. Harpy was, was feeling pretty tired, and she just she didn't have the gas um, after after getting things ready. And our busy Saturday, Sunday came around. She's like, I just, I, I, I can't. I just can't. I can't cook right now. I'll just ask the clown. That's valid. That's valid. And the clown may tell you. Your sensors pick up a massive heat reading up ahead. An elite free-roaming gunship is approaching fast. The weapon system is still initializing as the fighting starts. Prepare for combat. Your disadvantage is that it reshuffles your attack card. Your attack cards. Well, fuck. And they have an I'm too shy to ask things like, what did y'all do? Well, we, um, we... And then we kind of went forward and... Actually, let me backtrack because first off, Titan... Oh my god, like, so Titan came up and... Then after that, Peach, like, it was amazing. Bro. Peach reached up and grabbed me by the face. And it was just like, Lanids, I need you to know that I... And then after that was done and I recovered, because, I mean, my jaw hit the floor. So then um, the most amazing part, though, was when the four of us all went into the bedroom together. And for, like, the next couple of hours... we. Just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Also, tell Harpy no worries. No, no, she, I mean, she's going to do it. She's going to do it as I see you. I see you. She's going to make your cookies. Don't worry. She just she just didn't have the gas. So that will ease up now that she's uh, going through this last week of hell to, uh, to deal with uh, the project she's working on. It should be done this week. So after this, um, her life is going to get a little easier. What on earth are you talking about? I was just, um, you know, I mean, remember when we, you know, when you, that, you know, have you in my ear trying to talk to my mother-in-law? Nice. Hot. I have nobody in my ear because I have the aviator hat on, so I can't hear a fucking thing. It is appropriate to wear the aviator hat during this game, though, I will say. Oh, fuck. Okay. He's got, he's got shit. Fortify. Gain six, gain six shield points plus one for each Fortify card up to a maximum of 12. Ugh. Boomerang. Deals six, eight ion damage. If shielded, gain shield points equal to enemy shield points destroyed. Okay, so kind of doesn't... We don't want to have shields up. That sucks. Laser pulse. Straight up. Oh, bro. This ain't great. Weapon cooldown. Reshuffle all the combat, all your attack cards back into your. Oh man. So if we put up shields and he ion blasts us, he's gonna get shields. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, like, I kind of don't want to do anything. You know what I'm saying? So he should get three shields from that. Or not. Okay, I guess I misread that card. Alright, so Zion's reloading. And now he's got his laser pulse up. Alright, let's 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 you know what? Fuck this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need eight ordnance. We are gonna absolutely just dunk on you, sir. Um, I want your fortify to go the fuck away. I I, I feel like that's gonna be a highly dangerous card. Okay, we don't need that eye on that ordnance surge yet. We're gonna save that. Okay, I feel I feel like that's a pretty good thing so far. There it is. Fortify. He's reloaded and he lasered us. Alright. Enemy shields down. Okay. Deal double damage if you're unshielded. Oh god. Okay, so we need to be shielded. Fuck. And we're not. And that's bad. Okay, we need to be shielded. Uh, I think we're going to blow some command points and get emergency shielding. And we're going to fire our lasers. And we're going to laser pulse uh, that fortification. Get that shit out of here. Because that, that'll help us. 
Okay. Energy production down. That sucks. I did not like that. Indicates ionized level. God damn, we have eight ionized level? Whatever that means. Okay, okay. Yeah, so this boomerang is what's going to give us... Hmm, at least he can't fortify. Well, we need shielding. Full stop, we need shielding. And then I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pump his, uh, I'm gonna pump his boomerang with my PP. Okay, he's down to 17 health. This is gonna hurt, dude. Okay, that could have been worse. I swear, I guess that does something different than what I'm reading. All right, ion reload. Hmm. Yeah, we can't do enough, but all right, let's conserve. And then we're going to do an ordnance surge. And we're going to catalyst pulse his laser. And we're going to laser pulse his shit. Good. Good. He's in dire fucking straits now. He's in very dire fucking straits. Did a couple more points to us. That's okay. We can live with that. Because, because. Fuck you very much. Next round, one more hit of something. Where's our missiles, dude? Why are we not getting to shoot more missiles? Ow. That sucked. Barrier up. Barrier up. Fuck you up. Done. Okay, so we took a bit of a pounding that time. Shield initiator? What's that do? Ooh. <laughs> Starts combat with four shield points. I like that. I like that. Okay, that's what it is, probably. You can... Okay, okay. Shield initiator. Yes, sir. Okay, done. So we've added that to that. How interesting. Okay. I'm kind of figuring it out now. It's starting to make a little more sense. Bro, we really need some, like, helpful places to go. You know what I'm saying? So that's a station that we're neutral at. That's combat that we're neutral at. There ain't a lot of friends here. Should we go to this combat zone that's allied? I mean, I... I really thought we'd get help here or wherever, but we did not. We fucking did not. Everything seems quiet. The sensors are not picking anything up. Oh, thank you, Lord. Please tell me we can, like, refuel. Our sensors pick up a Starkin station. What are your orders? Dock with the station. Do What do you wish to do? Crew activities, depart, or the hangar? Um, I kind of want the hangar. Let's, uh, let's, let's repair this girl. Can we repair? Repair all 72 credits. We have, um... We have a hundred? Yeah, we'll repair. Of course we'll repair. Why would we not? Right? Okay. Good. That's what we wanted. Oh. You can buy stuff. Oh! I didn't see that. I thought that was my gear. Oh. These are pretty good, dude. Okay. Noted. Noted. This is where the roguelike part comes into play. I think. Can I, like, visit again? Crew activities. Select an activity you want your crew to perform. Head over to the station bar and unwind. To morale. Yes, sir. I guess we're good. Depart the station. Alright, so everybody's fucked, sucked, and, and filled up and good. We got a neutral repair station. Fuck. Don't need that. An allied conflict zone. Yes, sir. An allied free roamer gunship has detected the presence of a hostile. As you are in direct firing range, you are being asked to engage the enemy ship. The allied gunship is too far to provide any support. We did that. We just did that. I don't understand. If it's an allied combat zone, why are we having to do that? If I decline, what happens? I'll bet you I lose faction. I mean, we'll do it. 
they're our allies. We'll 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 do what they want, but I kind of feel like this ally thing is like sort of one-sided, you know? Okay, so charged barrier. Gain six shield points in one duration. Okay, so that's that's pretty good, but it takes a long time to charge up. This this thing. Okay, okay. If we fire a missile, that's gonna um if we fire a missile, he's gonna pop it. Maybe. I don't care, we're gonna fire a missile. I'm gonna fire in my lasers. We have an ordnance surge, we do. So I can pop both of these as well. And potentially take that charged barrier down. I think I want to. It won't take it down, but it'll it'll fuck it up. But good. Oh, okay. It did fuck it up. Never mind. We're good. We have four shields right now. Um, that can't do more than four damage. I think we're good. Pew pew. Two damage. Okay. So we still got some shields. Boom. Eat a big dick. Bump our shields up. Um, take our energy production down a little bit and move our ordnance production up a little bit. Okay. I mean, or do we? Fuck. We need the ordnance, bro. We really need the ordnance. So we don't have five ordnance right now. We got a lot of morale. I don't really want to spend it. I think I want to just hit him with the missile. We're just going to let the missile go and we're going to let that sit. We're going to let that cook. Hurt the shields a little bit. We're all right. We're all right. Target reached, Captain. Okay. Target target took a took a little boofy. Got two laser pulses this time. His hit that. Really should have used conservation first. I didn't. That was dumb. We got two. We'll pop a barrier. Because next turn, with any luck, we're gonna we're gonna end him. For an elite ship, he's not doing great. He's not doing great. Because boom, followed by Pitui, and you're done. No damage. We'll take that shit. We will take that shit. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your contribution to our success. All right, what do we got? A conflict zone allied or a waypoint where we're disliked? I mean, this conflict zone doesn't look like it necessarily connects. I don't know, but what? But does it? I can't really tell. I can't move the map. I'll go here. An unarmed free roamer civilian ship is being attacked and is requesting assistance. Ignore the help for a request. 50% chance for minus relations. I guess we'll 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 fight. We'll fight. We'll be we're gonna be sneaky. Oh, that's a lancer. Ooh, I don't like that. Welcome in, Chunkus. Went to Nando's with TK and Blue. It's incredibly windy today. Nando's. 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 Why do I know that name? I can't place it. Sucks that it's windy, though. Fuck that. What's Nando's? Hope it was a good time. Nando's Perry Page. Oh. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. Nom, 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 nom. Well, very nice. Very nice. You guys have a good time. I hope was a few good. Was it good? Tell us all about it. Tell me everything about it. Fuck. This guy's gonna be ugly, dude. Two laser pulses and a shield pulse. Shit. Okay. All right. We gotta let's let's use our brains here. All right. We gotta think about this. If we ordnance surge, we'll have nine points. We we have nine points of weapons. I can fuck him up pretty good. I can fuck him up but good, that's for sure. Uh, we have four points of shielding. This will give me six more for ten, which means we can eat both laser pulses. Shit. I can disable one laser pulse and then eat the other one with my shield, but then he'll get the shield up. Or I can disable his shields right now. I kind of feel like disabling the shields is the way to go initially. Like straight up. Ordnance surge. We're doing that. 100% we're just starting with that shit and we're gonna catalyst pulse his shields okay now we gotta do six damage to him I mean I fucking hate that we can uh, I hate to have to hit him again with the laser pulse but I just feel like it's worth it I really do and we're gonna put more shielding up 
Okay, so he can't get through our shields now. Pictures on courtroom. Very cool. He came down here to hang with Rizzoli yesterday, and we got some candies and nanos before they went home. Very nice. Very nice. Let's see here. Oh! Oh! Dude, the sear on that chicken. That looks so good. Mango and lime. Bro. Oh, yes. Also, candies. Wait a minute. What are those Kit Kats? Oh, Harpy can never know about this. I gotta look at these Kit Kats closer. If you guys are wondering what I'm looking at, you can join the exclamation point Discord there. They're in the courtyard. Um, mango sours. Oh, that looks good. That looks real good. Yeah, when we went to visit Rizzoli, we, we went to a uh, we went to a little games shop. Holy fuck, this local game shop that he took us to was amazing. Well, just call me Harry Blue. The orange things are pumpkin spice malted milk balls. They look like local, like like handmade, like you know what I mean? Like they made them right there. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Color me envious. Color me envious. We had great food, great time visiting Rizzoli. If you have the opportunity to visit Rizzoli, you should do so. You should 100% do so. Okay, he's got a laser pulse and he's got a paired pulse. Deals three damage two times. Fuck, six damage? Okay, we can withstand that and the laser pulse. Just a good candy shop nearish Rizzoli. Valid, valid. And I cannot... Mm, mm, I'm going to launch the one missile. I'm going to save. I'm going to put the other barrier up. Yeah, and we're going to let that ride. So this is going to hurt, but not much. Okay, we lost one hit point. We're good there. So he's on laser cooldown. He ate the missile dick. Now he's going to eat some more dick. He's going to eat a mountain of... Well, no, he's not. Fuck, we just do not have the bits, bro. Okay. All right. All right. We get two of each resource. That's nice, but it's not going to help me up. I don't know. I mean, I could pump two laser pulses into them, which is what? Eight damage? Yeah, eight damage. I'd rather do ten. I'd really rather do ten. Let's hit him with another missile. We'll call it good. This is going to hurt. This turn's going to... He's going to hurt us. But that was never not going to be the case. Oh! Does this help fuck him up? <laughs> well, yes it does. Thank you for the biddies. Biddies always help, right? I I'm a lover of titties. I'm a lover of biddies. Oh shit, okay, what's he doing? So he, he just repaired his shield pulse. Alright, so our goal is to drop him this turn if we can. We cannot. Um, he's got 9 damage. We need, we need more than we got. So. I'm a pop that to get a little bit extra and we're gonna go we're gonna go you go there and you go there and this is gonna do him and that did him and we only took one damage i will take that that's true i did say that i did say that you said you don't have the bits to fuck him up well i thought i didn't have the bits to fuck him up but now i got the bits to fuck him up and so chunkus that honor was in that 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 victory is an honor of you 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 did good <laughs> I appreciate the biddies. I don't get biddies very often. I don't think people use them too much anymore. I think they're fun, but... Where are we? Alright, so there we are. Hmm. Okay, so we can go to this disliked zone, which is the Solari. But there's a repair station just after, followed by Solari Big Combat. I mean, I don't know where else we're supposed to go. Surely we're supposed to go over here, right? I mean, like, that's got to be where we're supposed to go. Unless I... Am I missing something like... Like, no, go here, idiot. Right? Like, no, we're going to just... We're going to go. We're going to go that way. Ooh. An unregistered ship present in contested Solari space is approaching on an attack vector. Fuck. Start with two card slots down. Oh, that sucks. So we're getting... We're getting a little fucky fucked here. Oh, no. It's a fucking Lancer. Oh, bro, this is going to suck. An ion dart. I don't like ion guns. And a laser and a... If you are unshielded, gain one duration. Disable production for a turn, though. I like that. Holy shit. But he is vulnerable to overheating. Look at that, dude. He is so vulnerable to overheating. Okay, we have four shields. That will waste them. We're going to hit him with the star flare and 
call it good. That didn't hurt us. I mean, it could have been worse. It wasn't good, but it could have been worse. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right in the face. Right in the fucking face. All right. So he's going to hit us with the dart and the pulse for 10 damage. Hmm. We're just going to shield up. That's all we're going to do. Gotta get that rampart down. Okay, hopefully we can drop that rampart. Yeah, I think so. Yes, that's gonna do it. We can drop his rampart this turn. We got three, six, seven, eight. It's gonna take. I mean, should we should we should we fire everything? You know, that that um, I'm home. Meds are picked up. Very nice. Congrats on being home. One of the moments I loved in the uh, the uh, the 2009 Star Trek movie had had its flaws, right? That's the uh, the Kelvin Universe star. It's the first Star Trek movie that J.J. Abrams did, um, and it was like the the attempt to reinvigorate the Star Trek franchise after the disaster that was uh, Star Trek Nemesis, which is an unmitigated heap of shit. But so anyway, that movie had a lot of problems, but like special effects and shit were really good. And uh, and there's this moment where 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 Spock's attacking Nero's enormous planet destroying ship. And, uh, and Nero realizes what Spock is going to do. That he's doing like a suicide run. And it's going to kill him. And he just sh shrieking like frothing. Fire everything. And it's it's just like such a visceral moment. And every time I like unload in a game like this. That's what I think of. I think of Nero yelling. Fire everything. So anyway. If you've seen the movie. You might remember what I'm talking about. There's another moment in that movie though. That I really love. Where, where there's like this huge array of like torpedoes and shit. Chasing Spock down. And it's like, oh, he's so fucked. He's like, he's going right in and there's just missiles everywhere coming at him and, and he's doomed. And then another ship appears and it's the Enterprise. You know, they come popping out of warp and um, the Enterprise engages its uh, defense guns and shoots down all the missiles. But as they do it, you know, the music's really rousing in this like a high tension moment and it cuts to the shot of the crew and they're all just like, like looking at their monitors and just like, just doing shit. You know, they're just frantically working their controls. And it's one of the best examples of competence porn I've ever seen on a movie like that. And it's just all these young people trained for this job, executing, just simple. And it's like one of the moments that really, really works well. And they give it that couple seconds it needs to breathe to let you just like really absorb the fact like these people are really fucking good at their jobs. And, and I love, love, love competence porn. It's one of the things I'm, it's it's one of my primary get offs, I guess is what I'll say. Competence porn, hell yes. All right, so fire everything. Missile is in flight. Yes, sir. I should have done conservation first. <laughs> That's okay. We'll do it now. Now we'll get those ramparts down. Yep, no shields for you, bitch. And we don't need the ordnance surge. It's meeting time. I shall return. Valen. We'll see you later, Peach. Okay. Oh, we can drop his ion dart. I will drop that ion dart happily. We're going to take the heavy blast, though. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. There's really not much else we can do about it. 10 damage. 50% equipment damage. Okay. Ouch. Is there anything we can do about that? Not really. I mean, I can pop emergency shielding. That's about it. We'll do that. So we're going to take six damage. There's just nothing we can do about that this turn. Ouch. Okay. So he's got his laser back. Now we can pop a shield up, which we're going to do immediately. We can't drop his, uh, we can't drop his laser, but we can hit him and we will do so. Okay, this next turn should be a little bit bigger for us. And it is. And so we're going to immediately conserve. And we're going to pop a Ordnance Surge. And we're going to catalyze his ass. And we're going to drop that. And it ain't going to matter because he's going to be dead as shit. And he's dead as shit. And that's that. So we took six damage, but that's okay. I feel like that's okay. We took a pretty elite enemy kind of on out of nowhere, you know? I'm content with that. Also, we got 37 credits. We'll take that. 136. All right, we're doing pretty good. So we got a neutral repair station or a system event, but disliked. No, thank you. 
I think I just want to go to the neutral station. Let's dock. Uh, crew. Let's definitely let the crew get fucked up. Crew gets fucked up. Let's hit the hangar. Let's see if we can buy some equipment, though. We took a little damage. I'm not too worried about that. I want some equipment. Oh, an ion cannon. Oh, we don't have enough money. We don't have enough money for any of it. Bro. Uretic armor? Or eutectic armor, excuse me. Minus laser damage. Oh. Repulsor field. Oh, okay. Lowers flak damage. Reduce the next one. Oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A maintenance bay. I wonder what that does. So we have another weapon mount. We need another fucking weapon is what we need. Also, I'm going to have to peepo piss here pretty soon. I mean, I guess we should repair. We can't really do anything, so let's repair. Damn. Yeah, I can't up the reactor just yet either. Fuck. All right. Well... I gotta say, I'm, I'm liking it. I, I see a lot of potential in this game. I see a lot of potential for long, complicated runs. Um, let's continue on. Do you wish to depart? Broader ship unlocked. Heading for the sector's exit, your sensors pick up a massive vessel, vessel inbound on an attack vector. This sector is locked down. Any ships attempting to leave are marked for termination. Fuck you. Buckle up. Looks like we have to fight our way out. You got it. We're going to do that. All right. So we don't really have any new tools, but we've got a. Oh, fuck. Okay. I wasn't expecting all of that. Retribution. Draw and play an improvised flak every turn after receiving hull damage. Okay. So that's going to be a problem. Anytime we. we... I'm a people piss. Can you guys hold on for a minute? I want to go people piss before this fight. This fight's going to be a minute. This is going to be a slug fest. So I'm going to people piss and then we're going to fuck this guy up. We're going to fuck this guy up. And meanwhile, um, yeah, yeah, no, I'm not going to people piss myself. <laughs> That's the point. Um, I'm like, I can make it. And it's like, you know what? I don't think I don't, I don't want to. I'm going to go people piss. I'm going to go people piss. I'll be right back. Okay. I mean, we're four hours and three hours in. So I've been a good boy. I'll be right back. Ooh, mama, that needed to happen. Okay, um, this, you don't wear a diaper. Do I look like my name is Trump? No, I do not. I do not wear a diaper, Jesus Christ. Come on now, I'm not old enough for that shit. Emmy, come on now. Lighter rounds, plus one max flak damage. Okay, so he can upgrade his flak. Excuse me, that was a whoopee joke. Fair, fair. Flak, 
Oh, man. Okay. Starflare. So he's got missile. Shields. If you don't have shields, add 12 shields. Otherwise, add 6. So he's got huge fuck-off shields. A huge fuck-off flak system. And then this is another flak. Draw and play an improvised flak card every turn after receiving hull damage. Oh, shit. I do not like this at all. All right, so he's going to hit us with flak this turn no matter what. We do not need to fire conservation or fire a barrier because we have our initial barrier. We'll fire the missile immediately because that should eat his flak. Like, we want to keep the missiles flying as much as we can. <sighs> Shit. So now the flak is going to hit our missile, right? I think. Maybe. We'll find out. Should I laser pulse him? Maybe I should. I feel like taking his flak out, like all this shit is built around that flak cannon. Oh, but that shield is re just regardedly powerful. There's no way I can get that down this turn, though. I don't know. Dropping those shields is going to be vital, dude. I got it, cut this guy is nasty. Come eat my death enemy ship. Come eat death. Yeah, I want him to, but goddamn, welcome in, Minoc. This, this guy's going to be a motherfucker. I got a feeling we're going to die on him, and I think we're supposed to. That's gonna hurt. Okay, that didn't hurt too much. Okay. So he's got an improvised flak card. My missile did hit him, so the flak did not drop that. He's gonna fire a missile. Oh, man. He's gonna raise his shields, too. This is so ugly. I can drop a catalyst surge, but a catalyst pulse, but it doesn't help a lot. Or well, first things first, the barrier's gonna go up. Barrier goes up. We need we need as much as we can do there. We're gonna definitely fire a missile at him. I got cum. I got cum. I'm about to get cummed on in and over, and I mean he is about to dump a mountain of fucking cum on us. I really don't want to burn a cap. Uh, I really don't want to burn an ordnance surge right now because all I'm gonna get out of it is that catalyst. So we're gonna. Oh, this is gonna suck. Okay, okay, he got a low damage roll. That could have been worse. Jesus Christ. Okay, so his shields went up. Oh, we don't have PDCs on this thing, so we're going to just take that missile hit, aren't we? I forgot, we're not in the other ship. Okay, well, that ain't good. That ain't good. That ain't good at all. Alright, so. Conserve. Surge. We need you. All right. What do we need to take down, you guys? Shield? Maybe. The missile? This? I feel like the flak. I mean, but, but that's just his card. Like, that's just that one card. Oh, he's about to get extra flak damage. All right, what can we do? We can do four. We can do 14 damage, and if I do this, I can increase one of them by an extra two. We can destroy any one of these systems. Jesus Christ, we gained 10 shield points. We gotta drop that shield. We just got to. There's no if, ands, or buts. It's gotta be that. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna pop him. Now we're gonna drop that, and now we're gonna hit that shield again. Okay, we dropped his shield amplifier at least. We've hurt him. But this turn's going to be brutal. This turn is going to be really brutal. Ow. Oh, my God. Yeah, that fucking hurt, bro. Okay. We got to get that improvised flak down if we can. But all we can do is... Shit. Oh, man. So, what's this do? Change flak ammo. Okay. Barbed shrapnel. Love that. Fucking love that for us. He can fire improvised flak, I guess, maybe next turn. Yeah, it's depleted, so... But he is going to fire a missile. We don't need a barrier this turn, then. We're just going to end turn. We're just going to save up points. Incoming missile. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Well, we've got a lot coming now, don't we? Shells. We have a missile, so that's at least 12 damage. So we're going to pop both barriers. Let's get them up. Protect ourselves this turn. We can do eight damage. We can take something down. Um, I feel like... I feel like... I hate that improvised flat gun. I fucking hate that thing. I feel like I kind of want to take this down. That's been pissing me off. That missile's real steady damage, though. Take the, we'll work on the missile a little bit. Okay. Oh, man, it hurts. It hurts. It's just ripping us to pieces, bro. All right, we can take the missile out. This is going to get shields again this turn, though. Oh, my God. I don't... Yeah. <laughs> He's just... He is destroying us. I mean, this is crazy. Reset the full gen. Jesus Christ, he does so much damage. Like, there's just no way to beat him with this ship. I think this is clearly going to be the point of the demo is to, like do enough runs to get past the ship, you know? Okay, what can we destroy this turn? Anything? No. No. Him? No. Can't even fire both of these. Fuck. Alright. Well, we'll fire one of them. And we'll hit the... We'll hit that improvised black. But this is gonna be our turn. We're done. Surely. Well, maybe not. Ow. Ow. Okay, we lived one more turn. We lived, bitches. Pop both barriers. Take that down. Put that back in there. Hmm. Ow. Ow. And that's that. Here, Bluey. We're done for. I don't think that's a surprise. Thank you for playing the demo. Yeah, I think you're supposed to. I think I'm pretty sure you're supposed to die on him. I don't I don't see any easy way you can realistically get path past those cards with the cards we have. At least not on the first run. Well, I got I liked it. I don't know. What did you guys think? Um, yeah, new run. That's all you can do. I mean, I just want to look. Let's look at the new run and see, like, do we keep that ship? Because we unlocked the Marauder. We did keep the ship. We kept our money. It looks like. No, no, because our, our, our reactor power is lower. Yeah, so I think we kept the ship, but maybe that's it. Yeah, because we don't have the missiles. We don't have anything like that. Okay, I'm not going to play through again, because um, I think let's switch over to uh, to Deep Rock Galactic. I'd like to play that for you guys. Yeah, this looks like the same same basic map. It does. This looks like the exact same map. I think. I think. Yeah, it does. It does. Okay. Well, I was. that's fun. I like that. There's a lot to explore there, too, like what's going to happen in all the different sections. I'm I'm definitely intrigued. I'm definitely willing to uh, to wish list that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to uh, I'm going to take a minute and I'm going to go to Steam right now and I'm going to find that that game. If you guys enjoyed it, was called Breach Way. B R E A C H W A Y. No, Breach Space. Breach Way. Breach Space. Breach Way. What was it called again? Let me look. Breach Way. Yeah, Breach Way. B R E A C H W A Y. And uh, it's that's a demo that's currently available on Steam for free. So give it a try if you like that kind of thing. It, it's fun. I, I liked it. It's challenging, but um, the space aspect, for whatever reason, kind of worked for me. I don't know why. The cards just worked a little better in the space thing. It doesn't matter. It's still just numbers, but but it kind of it kind of clicked for me. So let us let us change games to Deep Rock Galactic Survivor, which I have now done. And let's give that a little whirl. Let's play some Deep Rock. We'll, we'll unwind a little, you know? We'll spend a little time barocking stone. Get into position here. Oh, yeah, I got I to gotta resize this again, don't I? Okay, hang tight. Do, 
change my game. There's my game and change my settings. There we go. That should look nice for y'all now. That should look nice for y'all. Okay, so, um, yeah, like I said, I've done a little bit. You know, I played a little bit through, but I haven't done too much. I haven't, like, beat anything extra yet. Um, ooh, extra crit. Extra crit damage. Um, movement speed. Movement speed would be nice. Mining speed would be nice. Mining speed is really nice. Weapon reload, also good. Um, hmm. Between movement and mining, I want movement for right now. Hmm. I'll take that. And I want quick chance for sure. We got a lot of extra. Oh, you can just buy minerals? Hello? Hello? I like that a lot. Okay, yeah, it takes a lot though. So if you had to buy like 10 of these, it's 4,000. I got you. I got you. Okay, so we haven't really fallen behind on any of those majorly. Okay. Yeah, like the red mineral here, life regen. I mean, I could buy two and get some more life regen. Why don't we do that? And now I can buy life regen. Love that. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's let's give it a whirl. Let's give it a whirl. So if you guys remember, this is just, uh, it's like vampire survivors, but with, with angry dwarves. So we've got the crystalline caverns. caverns. Here I come. Um, we've it's done all of Hazard One. We did that on stream last time. Um, I played Hazard Two just to dick around with it and got the uh, the minigun up to level eighteen and, and equipped four kinetic weapons. I did not complete the dive. I played the magma core. I dicked magma around. Um, those two things are really easy. Like just dicking around, you get those, and then did not complete the dive. Oh, and the hollow bow, I um, I did the one. So let's do magma core. Work in the hazard hazard one. one, please. We now have all four dwarf types. Um, we have played the scout and the engineer a bit. Uh, the scout and the gunner a bit, excuse me. I have never played the driller at all. I played the engineer one time. He's kind of interesting. Um, so let's see, what's the driller do? The driller likes to get up close and personal, burning his way through hordes with chemical weapons and mining his way. Whoop, fuck. Let's see how and mining his way speed. through walls with trusty power drills. So he should be good at mining speed. Oh yeah, plus 20% mining speed. Love that. The gunner, I don't love the minigun, but but you know, with the other shit, he can be pretty good. He can be pretty good. The engineer, I, I frankly struggled with a bit. Um, depending on what unclocks you get, he he was all right, but he wasn't my fave. Let's try the driller out. Foreman, when mining, gain 2% mining speed for two seconds. Stacks up to 25 times. So eventually he can get stupid, stupid fast. Quick firing weapon that shoots behind you. I don't like that at all. I really don't like that at all, but I'll try it. All right, let's try it. Let's try the miner out. Now Foreman. So he just shoots behind him only. So you gotta... Okay. So I gotta like. Okay. Daka, daka, daka. Look at my butt, bitch. Look at my dumpy. Oh, an epic weapon upgrade. See, these, these look really appealing. Like, ooh, yeah, weapon upgrade. Three unlocks. But. You don't actually get anything for it. You just get the three weapon levels. Like, the weapon levels don't get you anything other than getting the overclocks every X many levels. This weapon has never been leveled up. You can see by the little icon here. So, like, I need to get it to 12 to get the overclocks. But other than that, it like, this does me nothing. So, like, this is, this is going to be a run to fail. We're going to just try and get this weapon upgraded to 12. And any other interesting new weapons we get... We're gonna try and get them and upgrade them to twelve. Beyond that, I'm not gonna to try to beat the beat the map. This is gonna be a prep run to do a real run. Ow. Okay, so we can get extra damage, extra fire rate, extra reload. We'll take the damage for right now. Fire rate on this thing kind of sucks. I don't love it. Me a flower. 
Oop. I'll take some pickup radius real quick, though. We need that. Okay, I've got the flower done. Love that. Well, he is quick as fuck, though. Ooh, okay, what do we got? High explosive grenade. I like that. I like that a lot. A flamethrower? Bro. Drops flamethrower turrets? This sucks, dude. I love all three of these. I want all three of these. Why can I not have all three? A flamethrower, a Krakatoa sentinel. I mean, how can you not want something called Krakatoa? Yeah, I suppose if you're, you know, a Pacific Islander, probably it triggers a little differently. I say that's not like anybody alive now was around for Krakatoa, so. Hmm. Stand still to deploy turrets. Okay. Let's try the flamethrower. I want the flamethrower. Oh, okay. So it just whooshes. Oh, <laughs> yes, bitch. Oh, daddy likes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know I took a couple hits. I don't care. Oh, that was so fucking worth it. Yep, 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 yep. All right, so we're going to try and upgrade both of these. Oh, dude, if I can get that to rotate more quickly, that is going to be ridiculously good. Also, let's, uh, I mean, we are a miner, so let's focus we on mining. Until you clear out the landing zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is it? All right, I see it. Move speed, damage. I'll take that one. That was relatively satisfying. Bring a fire, small chance to find nitra. We'll take the nitra for now. Why not? The scan just lit up like a Christmas tree. We got a swooming coming. All right, let's figure out where we can go. Uh, we'll take that. Hmm. Oh, that was maybe not the play. Fuck. Didn't work out beautifully, but it's all right. It's all right. Okay, get this. Get that rock sugar. Ow, dude, my back itches. Back just so much, bro. There we go. That's better. That's better. Yes. Burn, bitch. Ooh, big boy's up. Ooh, 50% fire rate. Love that. We'll take that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that's me making random fucking sex noises. I can't help it, dude. That was a good upgrade. Ooh. Still feel good. All right, reload speed, fire rate. What do you mean? I will take that one. I'll take it. Yeah, listen to that thing go now. That's that's good. Good shit. Good shit. All right, the elite is up. He's back there. I'm trying to keep an eye on him, but well, that thing takes a hot minute to reload, doesn't it? Set him on fire. Mining speed? Don't think that's a problem. Crit chance? I mean, it's not great. We'll take that, though. Ooh. I mean, I will take the epic in this case. I know it's not great, but it's going to get us out. It's going to get us a lot closer to that, uh, to the unlocks, to the, to fuck, uh, overclocks. Stage one completed. Well done. That was good. That was fine. We took a lot of damage, but that's okay. Early on, you can recover from that pretty well. Increase all weapon damage. I mean, that's good. Luck. That's even better. Kind of, sort of. Can we buy both? Precisely, we can. We'll take it. We'll take it. There's beasties to shoot and work to be done. Get to it. Let's go. Oh, I thought I was far enough away from that. I fucked that up. 
That hurt. Where? <laughs> oh, his drilling is so satisfying, bro. So satisfying, bro. That's what we wanted. Give me the stuff. Give me the cash. Give me the gold. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Give him my give him my little pouches, buddy. Right and ow fuck. Get ready. They'll be with you shortly. Get equipped. Oh, not good. Not good. Okay, we're not going to go that way. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, that sucks. Where's some... Oh, where's some big uglies I can I can ignite? Come on, buddies. Come on, come on. Oh, okay. Okay, let's get through these rocks. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We'll go this way. Ow. Oh, bro, don't tell me we're not going to get either gun up to level 12. This may not have been wise. This may not have been wise. I think it's fine. I think it's gonna work out. Shit. Mm. Big swoon detected. Lock up and get ready. Feeling much better now. So far, I'm not liking the rear-facing gun. It's not working particularly well, and the flamethrower is cute, but it's um, it's pretty slow. Shoot. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying, sir. Flamethrower turret or a grenade? Mm. Uh, let's do the turrets. Okay, we're getting close to being able to upgrade this one. I gotta get through these guys though. I gotta get around, get around them. Right there. We'll take that hit. That's fine. That's fine. At this point, I'm just trying to get. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. I'm hoping for two levels that I can get on this gun. Fire rate or reload. Let's do fire rate. Fuck. And plus lifetime to all beam weapons. I mean, I guess that's our turrets. We'll take that one. Ah, oh, bro. Three levels up and it didn't help us a lick. I mean, it helped us one, but... This guy should go down here pretty quick. Okay, good. There he goes. Okay. Increases all fire damage. We're doing a lot of that, so... That feels like that might be the play. I mean, but... Uh, I want that flamethrower to go up levels. I'm going to take that first. Because I really want those flamethrower levels. To try and get the flamethrower to 12 as well. For this run. Yo! Hey, welcome in, Raven. Welcome in. All right, Flame. We'll do turret reload. Oh, good thing we can mine quickly. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. I hear them. I hear them. I will. I will do the cat ears here in just a sec. Cat ears. Really? Okay. Just milk this to every last second. All right. Good. And here are your cat ears. You know what time it is. It's cat ear time. Okay, we can take an epic... Alright, this will complete this gun if we do this one. Or we can do this one and get two on the... Ooh, we'll do that one. That epic upgrade's too good to pass. Okay, let's try and get the flamethrower to 12 as well. We got five levels to go on the flamethrower. I don't know if we're going to make it, but... If we can, that's going to that's gonna make this run a success. 
this in my opinion was nice compared to last time Do, 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 do. He digs. Definitely get this rock sugar up here. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Delicious rock sugar. Oh, yeah, look at all this shit. Let's go. Let's go. That's what we want. Busy little dwarf. Loves gold and nitro. Nitro. Okay, let's avoid these guys. Yeah, no, that's not great. That's not great. That's also not great. My escape route is in these rocks. And we're going to escape now. That worked out pretty well. Okay. So, um, we'll take that for the flamethrower. I don't think I love the flamethrower. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it's it's not my favorite yet. Ooh. Well, that little thing shoots quick, doesn't it? Oh, what the fuck? You didn't tell me we had goddamn shy Halud in here. Uh, I'm working on it, brother. I'm working on it. I kind of want to wait on this and try and use this to pop the big boy. Oh. Ooh. It's getting a little cramped in here. I think we're going to just, we're going to take good enough. And that's good enough. That worked out nicely. Okay, extra healing on level up. We'll take that. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Goddamn right. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Fuck. Fuck. How you doing, Raven? Hope you're doing well. Okay, okay. Do the critical damage for right now. Uh, I just want to get through these guys. Oh, ooh, we got a magnet. We got a magnet. That's going to help. Oh, mama. I really want flamethrower, not flame turret, bro. All right, we're getting the grenades. We'll take that. Uh, shit. All right. Bro, all of our levels are kind of sucking. What do you think I've been doing? What do you mean? Shit, shit, shit. Just not getting flamethrower luck at all on this. I barely go for this one. Hello. Oh, good Man, I, I'm, I'm just having terrible Bingo. luck. We're gonna end up getting it on the uh, on the turrets before we get it on the actual flamethrower. Ooh, 50% damage? I'll take that, though. That's nice. Okay, got the big boy. Just dodge these idiots. Dodge Shai Halud's spittiness. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Un unnecessary touching. Thank you, thank you. All right, that worked out. That worked out. Whew. Take that level. All right, we need two more levels on the flamethrower. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Not here, we can't. Mm. Grab a drink. We don't really need mining speed. Our mining speed's pretty fucking good. I'm gonna take this crit damage pick. and pick oh, up. Yeah. Your mission is clear. Get to it. Yes, sir. Oh, 
Turrets out, let them do their thing. Get a little XBs. Oh, oh, so many spitters. Bro, spitters are quitters, bro. Start a job, finish the job, you know what I'm saying? I finished the job. Fuck. Oh, I know it. I'd love it, but there's so much other shit here, bro. You say that like, ah. Jesus Christ! This guy does not have good crowd control at all. Like in the built in the. Oh man. Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna do what we can. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Just keep ahead of him. Keep ahead of him. Keep ahead of him. They should start popping here in a minute. Come on, come on, come on. Pop the little shitters. There we go. There we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. A little better. A little better. That, I mean, it could have been worse. It could have been better, but it could have been worse, too. We're just not getting the flamethrower. What? What? Why, why, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? I see your hydrate. I'll do it again. I need to put an audio alert on that. Most of the alerts that like for the hats and shit that plays a sound for me that you guys don't hear. At least I don't think you do. You shouldn't. That I hear to let me know that hey, this this thing is on. Hey, this thing is off. You know. Um. So that way I don't ignore your thing. I need to put one on the hydrate. Um, because I miss it pretty routinely. I mean, it's got a sound for you guys that normally I react to. Oh, God, a swarm. Shit, shit, shit. Let's try and get through. Oh, that sucks. I really didn't need nitro right there. I really did not. 25% crit damage. Okay, that might not have been the play to do, but I don't, I don't really regret it, because, goddamn, that was a lot. Okay, now our drill speed is way up, so we can just drill, 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 Oh, we're taking a lot of hits, but it's there's so much X down there, dude. Okay, there we go. Path cleared. This we're gonna take this one just to get. We got the. Okay, flamethrowers to twelve. Now it can be overclocked next run. We're good. Now we try and oh god oh no 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 this is not good really not good really not good take a hit here okay I'm gonna duck through the fire okay that could have been a lot worse okay come back touch the LZ what do we got. Healing on level up. Take that. Wow. Great. Perfect timing. Love that. Thank you so much. Thank you for your contribution to my... Oh, this guy's writing a death note. This guy's writing a death note. His death note has me in it. Okay. Whew. Increase all kinetic. How useful. Thank you. Now we get it. Increase all damage over time from... Yep. Yeah, fire. You got it. Increase all fire damage. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can't get enough of this rare stuff. I don't really like where we are right now. And that was why. Oh my god, look at all that X I'm leaving behind, dude. Yeah, I can't get to it. I can't get to it. There's no way to get to that easily, safely. Get yourself onto that drop pod. It's about to head out. 
Whew. No way we're going to be able to take the Dreadnought. Not with this gear. I don't think. I don't think. Mm -hmm. That's very good. I think I want to heal up, though. We got some... Yeah, we got some gold. But you can't put a price on I'd really like to spend this nitra. Oh, well, thank you for re-redeeming cat ears, Athena. I, I was going to take them off, but... Really? Fine. Meow. Mm. Nope. Try again. <sighs> I was hoping for anything useful that I could use nitra on, but none of that really helps me. I'll take this one. I'm feeling lucky. Mm. I like that a lot. I knew today was gonna be good. Okay, we'll see what we can do. I don't think we're gonna get anywhere, but thanks for dropping me in lava, cocksucker. Yeah, this would be great. Well, that one was easy to pop, at least. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, that sucked. Well, we just lost all the health I paid for. That was my fault entirely. I, I really thought my mind speed would go up faster. It did not. Damn, that guy catches up way quicker than I thought he would. Okay. Walking across fire isn't great, but it's pretty light damage that you actually take. <laughs> now we get XP game. That doesn't help us that much. Sure. Let's go ahead and get this. Okay, we found the big cocoon. That's good. Still looking for the little cocoons. Found some gold. How nice for us. See you, Athena. Keep it on. Yeah, whatever. Dance. Dance, monkey, dance. All right, fine. You play your little, uh, you play your little cranky box, and I will, I will dance for you. Ooh. I am not going to try and get that. Fuck. Nitra. Oh, I turn back in time. Let's go this way. And then duck through here. Yes. That worked out. Oh, that's not great. There's just bullshit everywhere, dude. This is really not... Papa does not love this. Papa does not love this. Papa would like to unsubscribe from some of this shit. It's kind of funny, though. Once you get to rock, it's like it's almost better to just burrow through it. With this guy. Because he goes so quick. I had that on the scout one time. I had like 100% mine speed. It was ridiculous. Like he could just walk through rock like it wasn't there. We have a supply pod prep for you. We need the LZ clear. Well, that's great that you need the LZ clear, but I'm I'm trying to live, dude. I'm trying to live. I was saving that in case it might be useful. I don't think it's going to be useful. I mean, I guess I could... Okay, that helped. It wasn't really what I wanted it for, but it's good enough. Now we get. What are you hearing? Power of my kin forces through me. Okay. I still haven't found the other fucking. I really didn't want that to go yet, but oh well. So be it, you know? So be it. Red sugar. Chance to find out. We'll take the we'll take the shield belt. Where is that other cocoon, dude? I'm just not having any luck finding that heap of shit. Oh, it's already up. Never mind. Okay, so we just got to go all the way back to the big cocoon now. Because it's conveniently right nearby. Ow. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> run, 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 run. No one here but us dwarves, boss. Look at all the numbers, though, bro. Numbers make Dwarf Boy happy. So many numbers on screen. 
unfortunately, if you're like me, you look at those numbers and you're like, ooh, and you want to watch them and like try and see like where the, you know what I'm saying. I don't really give a shit about pickup too much right now. Ow. Okay, he's up now. Fuck. Oh, there he is. There he is. That's great. That's great. God, stay away from me. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. That sucks. That sucks. Mm. Oh, he hits you if he goes over you. TIL. He like he went straight over me, but he hit me in midair. Okay, well now we know. That's all right. That's all right. We actually had a shot at killing him. So I don't. I do not like that gun. That gun I do not like at all. Unless it's got an overclock that like makes it shoot another way or something. Like that behind shooting isn't very powerful. Ooh, corrosive sludge pump can now be found during a dive. That sounds unpleasant. Okay. Okay. So we've now got two more overlocks and a new and a new thingy. Plasma damage. Are the plasma guns, bro? All right, now we can do a real run. Let's do the magma, magma core. core. We'll do hazard, hazard one again. One this time we're going to try and actually get there. I don't know how I feel about him. I mean, he was good, but I really hate that starter gun a lot. But now that we can get overclocks, I like that a lot. Any preferences? What do you guys want to see? We played the scout, so he was like shotgun, lots of running and gunning. The gunner has a big fuck off minigun, but you have to be pointing at enemies. And there's a lot of times you're not doing that because you're running, especially the dreadnought at the end. You are running the whole time. Like you are almost never facing him because you're going to die if you do. So he's he's maybe a little hard, but I mean, I figure he can. I mean, I'm sure anybody can do it, right? The engineer is all about turrets and drones. Lots of turrets, lots of drones. He gets experience faster, which is kind of nice. Even 5%, it, it means a few extra levels by the end. That mining speed, dude, that's that's pretty good. And this guy has just like good armor, so he can take a bit of a beating. Why don't we why don't we play? I mean, Harpy loves miniguns. Let's let's play with a minigun in honor of Harpy. When we play regular Deep Rock Galactic, she will not play any other type of dwarf. All she wants to play is is the gunner. She wants nothing else. She said, like, point blank, like, I will never play anything else. This guy's got a minigun. Are you kidding me? I was like, well, the driller has a has a flamethrower. Yeah, I know, but this guy's a minigun. Okay. Very valid. Very valid. Very fair. Let's try and just get to this shit real quick while we can. Ooh, okay. Uh, increase the... See, like, this is where you face the thing. Like, increase the level by two. Cool, but... Or I can have one level and damage. I'll take the level, because the overclock is the most powerful thing by far. Boy, that stuff takes forever to mine. Ooh, move speed. I like move speed a lot. We don't really need fire rate too much, because this thing already shoots at a blistering rate. So, but upping the damage on the gun is a huge boon. Because it shoots so fast. Reload is also great. I'm gonna be the best survivor. So I'm prioritizing getting that gun up to a to a higher level. Okay, new weapon. What do we got? The assault rifle shoots rapidly in four directions. Why is we've never had this? The BRT seven. I hate to take it because it means we're not gonna we're not gonna you know get overclocks on it, which which sucks. But on the other hand, whereas we know this is a really good weapon, we know we love this weapon. No. I kind of want to play with the new one. Let's play with the new one. We're just playing games. We're having fun. Ain't nobody going to, like, win a fucking scholarship today, as I always say. Right? Like, 
Okay. So it's slower than the other one, but but like steady. It's like. We have a supply pod prepped for you. We need DLZ clear. Okay. We can do that. We can do that. Okay. So it's it's basically always shooting. Like its reload period is really short. All right. I like that. This is Cat ears have ended, the lady said. So the cat ears came off. And nobody can stop me. Oh, God, the minigun takes a minute to reload, though. Oh, my God. That sucks. That sucks. I was just about to go through there. Fuck. Oh, okay. We made it through. That worked. That worked. That worked. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now we'll just quietly get over here and we'll kind of shoot this way. Dude, a Panadaka. Look at all these fools. Look at all these fools just walking into the man with the minigun. And then they wait for him to reload. And that's that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Fire rate or damage? I will take damage. Yes. Change the damage type to fire. Hello, hello. Or increase just fire rate and reload speed. That balanced overclock is so boring. You know, I'm sure it's powerful, but. This one almost makes it too easy. Oh my God, look at it go. Okay, that is ridiculous and it looks amazing and I love it. Okay, we're going to try and get the elite down here. Come on. Come on down here, little buddy. Come on down here, little buddy. He does not want to come down here. Come on. I'm going to get him into this thing, and I'm going to try and squish him. Reload speed. Absolutely reload speed. All right, there we go. He's here. Oh, my God. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, right there, right there, right there. Stay right there. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. I... <laughs> He should have worn a hard hat. What a dumb fuck. Also, we got the BLT. Fuck yeah, bro. Dude, I would suck. Uh, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would do shit. You got to go on OnlyFans for to get a BLT right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we would be on OnlyFans right now. Mm, no speed for sure out of those. Got a little time we'll run over here. Pretty good first level. Actually, that felt pretty good. We came out of it full health. Pretty good upgrades. Got some interesting weapons. I don't know if this fire damage is gonna be the ultimate play, but. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. Stage one completed. Well done. Taking you to stage two. Okay. Hmm. I I think I wanna save our money, probably. I don't know. I mean, this is pretty good, though. We're only 14 Nitra. I'm going to go that. with this. I'll take that. You know the drill, Miner. Okay. Fulfill your objectives. Let's get out we got to get some mining speed, though. We got to keep an eye. We got to keep an eye out for some mining speed, too, because my God, I am going to struggle later because because I really like to use the uh, the rocks as defense, you know, like, well, I mean, like that's a brilliant tactic. That's an obvious fucking tactic, but that's the one. Keep pushing this minigun up too. We'll get another overclock here soon. Okay. Don't need the rock sugar yet. Let's not touch it. Pop those. Thank you. These upgrade minerals too. Hmm. 
egal. Come on, come on. Oh, good man, good man, good man. Big swoon detected. Bug up and get ready. This work. Damn it. I meant to get out of the way of that. Alright, that didn't work out. That didn't work out. I neglected rule number one, which is always have an exit. Always have an exit strategy or a plan. I did not. And I did not wing it. Okay, right. so above me. Okay, that worked out. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got the, the stubby. We got the big boy. And we got that. Targets the closest enemy with electricity. Targets the closest enemy with kinetic. I mean, I like the big slugs that squish bugs. Let's go. I got out of... Hitboxes are weird. We determined that last time. We'll, we'll allow it. Fuck off. Come on, come on, come on. Just a little more, just a little more. There you go, there you go. Oh shit, I just didn't even see those and that was on me. I hate dropping a drop pod and wasting it, but... Take the, take the heal up. Get the nitra. Level up again. We'll just... have it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Give me the rocks. Give me the rocks, baby. Ooh. Same thing. Like I, I really go, thought I got out of the position there. Okay. We do a lot of fire damage. Welcome back, Peach. Welcome back. But hit points. I, I kind of want some so hit points. Mean. Ow. Ho, ho, ho. I'll take this one. Yeah. Increase fire rate by every projectile weapon by 30%? Yes, sir. Because that's all I have are projectile weapons. Get stronger all you want, dude. You're burning to death. So, all right, he's done. Okay, let's try and get over through all this. Do 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 do. We'll take that. Dodge this idiot up oh, or not. We'll just walk into it. Actually, mow down some more fools. Can I? I want all that axe, dude. If we make it back, I lived. Ho! Ho! 100% clip size? Oh my god, that's pretty good too. The clip's pretty big on it already though. I think piercing shots are just like, there's no shot, like, oh, yeah, 100%. And our fire rate goes down, but the damage goes up and it pierces and it burns. This bug. That strikes me as incredibly potent. And both of our other weapons need to be leveled 12. So we'll work oh, this one yeah. if we can. Um, I'll take hit points, sweet. and we'll continue on. Your mission is clear. Get to it. I love it dropping me in fire, but at least it doesn't burn you right away. We really need to get some freaking. When this is done, I'm started my own bloody mind. That's for damn sure. Show them. They're bluey. I found some more kai. 
We got the more kite you didn't get none. I really thought that minigun would be reloaded. Holy fuck, that's nice. <laughs> That's so... Oh, I love it. I'm really happy with that. I'm really, really, really happy with that. That is ridiculous. That is so ridiculous. I didn't mean to walk into him. That is not what I wanted to do at all. Oh, shit. Okay, beacon's kind of near. Whew. Hmm. Reload speed or damage? Reload speed or damage? This doesn't seem like it's reloading a lot, so. Fire rate of all? Oh. I, I can't. I need the mining, but I, I can't. I can't pass that up. Dog, I just cannot pass that up. I'm a new dwarf. I swear I got out of the way of that. There we go. Okay. I kind of want to draw out the lead if we can. I don't think we're going to be able to. Nope. We got to go through. We got to go through. Stupids. Okay, fire grenade? <laughs> Weapon that shoots behind you? No. I mean, the, the shoot cough is good, but we already have a four way. We'll take the fire grenade. That fire grenade, man, it, it can end up being really ridiculous. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're, we're getting a little packed up. Let's try and get out of this. This way. Damage, thank you. God. Ooh. Zach. Welcome in, Zach. God damn. <laughs> Welcome in, Zach. Crit chance. Take this one. Hello, big ugly. 20% status effect damage. It seems like that's going to be just a great little bonus to all the fire damage we're doing. Wow, we are just tearing him apart, bruh. This provides a great opportunity for us to go and gather XBs. And then just Ooh, stop. He's live stop right now. Bobby, Bobby, welcome in, Bobbert. Love you. Love you. Um, Let's level this one up because we're getting close to level 12. Fuck. Okay, okay. Come on, stop spooging me, dude. Oh, shit. Okay, this is not great. Okay, try and pop them. Dodge that. We'll go down this way. Yep, 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 yep. This will work. This will work. Nope. Okay, yeah, we're good. We can fight through. We can fight through. We're okay. We're okay. Fight through like that. Come back around this way. That made a hole. Okay. I should be able to come down here and... Ah, me, apparently. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, dodge the fire. We're gonna just take the extra hits. Jesus Christ, this is getting gnarly, bruh. Very gnarly, very gnarly. Okay, okay. He's about to go down. There he goes. There he goes, there he goes. Come on, come on. To reload. We need reload on the minigun for sure. Duck around these idiots, hopefully. 
Holy balls. You see what I mean, though? The gunner is like, he can get ridiculous. I hate facing shit, but once you get it, like, holy crap, does he... He gets ludicrous, man. It is not leaving. I got my beard, bro. Right here. I got my beard. Grab your beard if you got your beard. Mwah. To all of you cuties. Okay. Whew. All right. All right. All right. We don't need exp. We can't really re-roll. We can't heal. We're going to continue. What is this? Level four? Oh, my. You've got work to do and quotas to meet. You have your objectives. we got to get mining speed. we got to get mining speed. I'm going to die at the end if we don't get mining speed. I mean, just full stop. There's, there's nothing else really much more important than that. I really don't think we're going to do great with, with three weapons that don't have overclocks available. I, I think we're still going to struggle. And none of them have hit the point... God, I spent too long looking at them. We need to get at least one or two of those to 12. God, Markai takes forever to mine. Okay. Well, I don't know about record time, but uh, move speed. Try and speed him up, get his mining speed up. It's like the gold here. Like, I don't really need it. I don't really care, but I don't know. It might be worth it. My beard is... Valid. Valid. I mean, I, I see, I, I grew one because I got to have at least one thing in my life that's manly and long. You know, that's that's how I look at it. That's why I decided to grow this out to compensate. We're kind of in a bad spot right now. Maybe don't talk to him. Maybe don't talk to him like that. Because actually, dude, these guys are really kind of putting the fucking hurt on you right now. Like, it's a bit early for us to be this hurt. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. On the other hand, that is goddamn satisfying. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Because there is a lot of experience up here for us now. <laughs> yes, bitch. Yes, bitch. Still no mining. What is going on? Arbitrarily, I like 300 hit points. It does not matter. I just arbitrarily like that amount. I want my pickup to give me that little bit more X bomb. Oh, I really thought I was backtracked soon enough. Okay, let's go around this. Pop through here. Kill these fools. Pop a tunnel. That worked out beautifully. Took a little tiny nibble hit, but that's all right. Uh, we'll take that one. We're about to ding level 12 on that gun. That's going to be great. That will help as well. Wow. Look at all these. these look at all the grippers, bro. There's a lot of shit on the screen. I played this on the Steam Deck, by the way. Any of you who have a Steam Deck, it plays very well on Steam Deck. Um, mm, extra Fire Dot. I mean, Fire Dot is going to be where we deal a lot of damage, and we already have a bunch. Let's look at our let's look at our stats. Dot. We're already at twenty. Okay, never mind. We're only at twenty. Reload speed. We're at eight percent reload speed. This bad boy is at eighty percent. But this will get us one level closer to an overlock, an unlock, uh, overclock. I want the underclock, the overclock. Okay, 150% damage, minus 50% dam fire rate. Ouch, half the fire rate, but 50% more damage. Or double damage, but fire rate. All other weapons slow down and, ooh. I mean, this is our best weapon by far. By far, this is our best weapon because the others can't even get unlocks, overclocks. Oh, you can just salvage it? I wonder what that does. I want a stream, a Steam Deck literally just to play, play House Flipper in bed. Oh, God, yeah. I, I, yeah, it's such a perfect bed device. I uh, I put my noise-canceling headphones on, which, you know, and then just use the Steam Deck with that. It's, it's amazing because you can watch shit on it, you know, like it's got a browser and stuff. It's a computer, right? A Steam Deck is a computer. 
So you can like, I can watch shit on our Plex server or I can just play games. Um, it's amazing. It's amazing. I, I, I love that fucking thing. It's a really, really good device. <sighs> Greatly increased damage at the cost of fire rate. I mean, the fire rate is, is ridiculous. Okay, so here's the thing. The fire rate's ridiculous, but it's got piercing bullets that do damage over time. I'm going to assume the damage over time is a function of how much damage the bullet does. So it does like, you know, an equal amount over 10 seconds, let's say, or whatever. I don't know. Like, I can't see the math on that. I'm going to pick that. Gonna it's going to definitely change that weapon. Ow. Yeah, it's still firing pretty quick. Um... There's so much crap in my way, bro. Oh, great. He's up. He's here. All right, all right, all right. We're okay. We're okay. We're immaculate. We're beautiful. We're proud. We're powerful. Oh, yeah. Oh, there he is. Shit. I didn't expect him to be right there. Because I wasn't paying attention. Okay, future levels on this gun don't get us anything other than the stated effect. We're going to level this one up. We're going to try and get that other gun to 12 just to make sure we get that unlock. Don't want to take too long because the level's going to go up. Kind of sucks to have to sit here and fire in mine. I gotta say. That one. Get this. What do we got? Healing. Gold. We'll take this. Because next level is five, and we'll take this health on the way out. Not without me, it's not, sir. Which yeah, I've got I've got the original Steam Deck and I love it. It's it's great. It's definitely great. Okay, what do we got? Okay, this will get us the level we need to lock in the unlocks for that gun. So that's done. And I think let's take 30% fire damage because all our good shit does fire damage. And I think that's all we can do. <laughs> so let's go. All right, level five. Here we go. Dreadnought time. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. I don't. I don't feel great about this run. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna like absolutely. Why am I mining? I don't need to mine that. We didn't get the mining speed we need. We got like 10 percent or something. So it's not good. Well, that thing shoots a long time. Try and find the other cocoons. Hello, any cocoons? Any cocoons? Hello, hello. Yeah, this game, I, I think, like Obi was saying, Obi, Obi said, I believe on the Discord, that, that he can put this game on and he just loses all track of, like, time and space. Yo! Yep. Dude, I could, I could, I, I, like vampire survivors was like that for me i could just hit that and then i'm like why do my hands hurt look down oh because the steam deck is at like 10 percent, and i've been playing this for like four and a half hours ow without stopping and that was not the play okay oh this is not great this is not a good place to be we're not having fun here we're not having fun we're gonna unsubscribe we're gonna unsubscribe from the bugs okay that worked out And, uh, and yeah, I'm with Obi on that 100%. The man nailed it. That's, that's the vibe this game has for me as well. 
you can easily go out. It's one thing I'll say about like streaming it. I um, I um, it keeps me a little more focused because I, I I try and I try and fuck you all. Oh, man, I really wish I'd been able to spend that on Doomfist. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, blow up. Ooh, oh, yes, sir. I love move speed. I love move speed a lot. That makes me very happy. Okay. They're up. They're done. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Good. Got us through there. Ran into that by mistake. That was stupid. That was also stupid. Okay, here comes Dreddy. Here comes Dreddy. We're going to try and hit the landing zone and, and hit Dreddy at the same time. Okay, that's that's the goal. That's the goal. Don't know if it's gonna work. We gotta go right now and do it. Ah, this, I didn't prep this enough. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks. We're dead. No. I was cornered. There was no way out of that. I I thought I only had one or two hits down there. I I misjudged. I misjudged. Well, that's all right. So we got we got overclocks unlocked on the burst gun. That's a pretty good gun. I like that gun. And that's it. <laughs> Fuck. All right, we didn't get nearly as much as I thought we did. Well, well. Yeah. Not having all those overclocks really, really, really gutted us. But that's okay. We still got shitloads of minerals. So we can get more life regen or more max hit points. Let's take that. And that. Because we can. And... Let's hit it again. I want to beat that magma core. Hazard one, please. Mm, gunner again? Or should we try something else? Let's keep pushing the gunner. It, it's, it feels good to play him. Rails and That's We're sending you in to take out a dreadnought. Get it done, miner. We're all counting on you. Yeah, we want to hit rank nine on him. Do another 10,000-ish damage, or 1,000 damage, excuse me, while standing still. Mining speed. I want that pickup radius, but mining speed, that, that killed us hard at the end of that one. Been really happy with I mentioned I've been really happy with the Steam Deck, but um, but also I'm not gonna lie, the, the Steam Deck OLED does make me go, ooh. It's like I, I can't justify upgrading because I don't use it enough to justify the upgrade. You know? I mean my Steam Deck is is not that used. It's got, I don't know, a couple hundred hours probably used on it, maybe tops. So it's got a bit, but like I mean at the price it costs, like that's that's a few bucks an hour that I'd pay, and I, I mean, like, you know, it's not like I can sell it for anything. And, I mean, theoretically, Harpy can use it, but what the fuck is that? Tactical lead burster. A grenade packed with bullets? Bruh. I really want this incendiary grenade, though, because it does a lot of damage, and it, the, the, the unlock is not locked yet. Like, I mean, I'm perfectly content to just do runs I know probably aren't going to succeed in the hope of unlocking weapon abilities, you know, for late later runs, right? Does that make sense? Because for me, that's half the fun. Like, like completing the runs is great, but getting weapons is even better. Okay, where is it? There it is. God, it's way down there. do 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 Oh, you have to wait so long for it, bro. Now, what are we waiting on? There we go. Oh. Definitely take the BLT. Ow. Ow. Damn it. 
Got a little too close there. Got singed. Don't do that. It's been a pretty varied little stream, I think, today. I like to I like it when I can shake things up and give you guys a few different things, you know, like we talked about um, you know, password managers and we talked about death notes, like IRL death notes, like meaning, you know, what to do. And we talked about and we played our card game. We're having fun. We're not stopping yet. I mean we're not we're not there. These suck, dude. Doubles your armor while the weapon's reloading. I mean, that's all good and fine, but the thing reloads like once a minute. Not literally, but it's not that often. And my armor is like 10. So, ooh, 20. Put a bit of extra kick in it. Loot buck looted. Ow. Mine. Gimme. Move speed, exp gain. Experience is good. I feel like let's take the experience right now because we're still really early. So that 6% is going to add up over the course of the run. Oh, hit points. Yes, sir. No. Stop spitting on me. Go away. Ugly. 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 Very ugly. Very ugly. I'm Dead. Kill you all. Rotus, satisfied. The drop pond is arriving. Get moving. It won't hang around. I'll take it. Yeah, bro. Did you just did did you Make just did sure you just we yearn for the well mines? Done, we minor. do yearn for the mines. The man the man's heart beats for the deeps and the deeps alone. Hmm. I mean reload speed is pretty ass on that thing. A little extra special. Now it's I'm gonna upgrade the grenades color. just to try and get them unlocked. I think we'll start with that. This. Also, we'll get some move speed. That'll help us. Why not? Why not? Fuck it. Fulfill your objectives. Let's get out Hold of on. here. Let's get low on drink. Done. I've been drinking today like crazy. I think I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm uh, I'm just thirsty, you know? It's that tickle in my throat, I'm sure. Don't worry, I'm not sick. Not at all. Yeah, famous last words. He said that last time, and he had valley fever. Once again, do not rec- <laughs> uh, That's what I would do for that this. upgrade. God damn. Burn, bitch. Burn, bitch. Thank you. I will stop for these minerals if I can to try and get the upgrades because we need lots of those. Oh my god, oh, there's so many fools behind me. A swing is heading your way. Load up. Well, I mean, it's pretty good if they do, actually, because we can kind of just keep doing this. Just mow these little idiots down. Like, they're actually dying pretty well. Well, they were. God, I just dealt with one, bro. Mm, I'm gonna pick up radius. Yes. Even 15%. God, you can feel it. Okay, LMG turrets. Okay, that's just the, the machine gun turret that the engineer gets. Electrical bullets. This has been unlocked. The stubby has, or the bulldog has not. I mean, do we just, do we work on two again and try 
Last time we didn't get them both. Let's try. I really want to see what that gun can do. I, I want it to unlock. But I really want the grenades to unlock. Nasty, nasty, ugly, ugly. Ooh. The struggle, right? Yeah, it is. Like, there's always... Uh, that probably doesn't get better for a while. I think it's going to take a long time to upgrade everything. And that's okay. You just go into it knowing. You're going to you're gonna do a lot of runs to unlock everything. And they're fun. Oh, I love it when you get a magnet. Love that. Okay, so we'll definitely upgrade that too. Basically, any weapon upgrade is going to be good right now. Because our big gun can use them. We can get the overclocks. And the grenade and the stubby are actually... I kind of don't want to do that. I want to wait for the Elite. I'm going to use that to smash Mr. Elite. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's tough. I mean, I, I think we have to take that. Even though I'm chasing the upgrades, like, I mean, 15% to everything, like, that's a no-brainer. There we go. Hello, where are you at, ugly? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come kiss me. Come give me a big, big, wet smoochie. Yes. That was close. He was almost too far away. Increase your damage done by 1% for every 5 gold you have. Gain X when you take damage. I mean, I guess. Drop pod has arrived. Get there before the timer Ooh. runs out. The drop That's pod is not going to hang around. Think, 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 think. Come on. Come in, come in, finish it. Good boy, good boy. Back at your ass. I think we can get these loot bugs. Definitely the one. I think I can get this one. I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, that might have been bad. That might have been bad. We're okay, we're okay. That, it worked out beautifully. It's exactly what we wanted. Love that. Okay, so we're up to level 8 and level, or no, level 7 on the grenades. All right, doing good, doing good. Oh, oh I wish we'd gotten some gold. Hmm. We do have some nitro. This'll do. We'll take that one. We'll just chase the upgrades really hard, even at cost of, like, not doing great. Because I feel pretty confident in my ability to stay alive with, with basically, like, unless it's just the worst stuff. I can stay alive to the Dreadnought, probably. You know, I may die, like, instantly to the Dreadnought. At that point, you're not really gaining much experience. Oh, joy. Joy. That's great. That's so not great. That's so not great. I was really not in a good position for this. Okay, that actually worked out kind of well. Supplies blocked. Get the landing zone cleared. Going the wrong way for that. I gotta get this axe. It's just worth too much. It, it hurts, but you know what? It's a good pain. It's a good pain. Yeah, we've got plenty of time to recover all that. I want crit. 
I want crit. I, I can't. I can't. There's too much expo up here. I gotta get it. I gotta get it. I need it. I need it inside me. I thought I could get that and get down before the swarm spawned. Okay. Well, shit. I really don't want another unlocked weapon. There's no way I'm gonna be able to get 12 levels on that one, too. Yeah, because I'd have to get 36 levels between the three, so I'd need 12 and 9 would be 21, and 3 would be 24. I'm not going to get 24 more levels. I'm not going to get to level 40 fucking 9. So, let's try the burst the gun. Uh, we'll clear this right now just to get ready for the elite. Okay, that one's ready now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yep, you're fine, you're fine. You're big, you're beautiful, you're strong, you're... Yes, bitch! God, I love doing that. And I love it when it works. Also, <laughs> I love his laugh. I love everything about these guys. They're amazing. Okay. Oh, that's not going to be good. That's not going to be good. Okay, that hurt twice. Poopy, 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 poopy. I want reload speed. I want piercing shots. I want fire too, but I really want piercing shots more, so. Okay, good level, good level. Taking you to stage four, minor. What is that seven there? I wonder what that means. Hey, what's up, World Lily? Hello, hello. Welcome in. We're doing good. We're doing good. How are you today? We're playing, uh, we've been playing around. We played some demos, did a little of this and that. We talked about some tech stuff. Now we're, now we're playing a little, uh, Deep Rock Galactic Survivor to kind of zone our zone our evening in you know bring in the roll up towards the evening and, and get our chill on good to hear you also good very good very good let's see what should we get we got a lot of gold saved up what level are we on was that three i think that was three i mean crit damage is pretty very nice that's really fucking nice gold speed. i want mining speed bro i need mining speed i don't really want to reload <laughs> I don't know. Mm. This Oops, so I clicked deep. it. What are we going to do? Guess we're just going to have to play. Work to be done. I don't know if that was worthwhile, but I did it. So, fuck it. Okay, so that was level 3. We're on level 4. We got this. We got this. I don't think we're going to do the Dreadnought this run. We might. It's possible. If we get, like, some kind of crazy... Oh, wait, no. We're not going to get an unlock. I want that grenade, though. we got to get the grenade to 12. Like, we just, we need to. We really fucking need to. You know what occurs to me? I'm also playing this. No wonder I'm having some of the weird little, like, hiccups with positioning. How often do I stream? Uh, three days a week. I stream on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And uh, very, very rarely I'll throw an extra day. So far, I haven't missed any, which is kind of astonishing because I've been doing it for, for weapon level... Yeah, Tuesdays and, and Thursdays during the week, I stream during the during the work day. The idea being to just provide a little chill environment for, for people to tune in and listen. Usually, we're playing something a little bit less frenetic than this, a little bit more chill with some quiet, you know, relaxing music going on. Shoot. And, uh, oh, wow, I can't believe I dodged that. And um, I don't have my controller. That's what I was getting at earlier, too been playing just mindlessly. I automatically started playing on my computer, so I'm controlling my little dude with WASD. 
and it's fine, but it's it's not quite as precise as a uh, controller in moving in different directions. The swarm is heading your way. Load up. Yeah, we've been out for we've been out for a minute. I streamed a long time ago. Long time ago. Shit. That wasn't great. Um for a bit and then uh then took a long break from it, came back and uh and we've been back for about streams have been back for about six months. Shenanigans. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Get this gold. Ooh. Oh, I just was not paying attention. Completely messed that one up. Messed that up. What kind of stuff do you stream? We do a um, little bit of everything, really. Mostly, I mean, it's it's almost always gaming. Um, on the weekends, I typically game with my wife. She'll join us and hang out with everybody. Um, and so we play a lot of co... Bear with me, I gotta get out of this. Okay. Um, we play a lot of co-op gaming. Um, she's really fond of, like, Demonologist. She's also into Stardew, as am I. Um, a little bit of Minecraft here and there. Things like that. Um, we've started playing Deep Rock Galactic together. And then during the week, I'll play... I play a lot of, like... Um, I played a lot of Satisfactory, and then I started playing some Timberborn, which we're going to get back to, which is a, it's like a city builder, except it's based on beavers, which is kind of fun. Satisfactory, I'm going to go hard on when they drop version 1.0. Um, that's going to be a minute. Um, Last Epic is coming out with version 1.0, and I've played that a fair amount in early access, so we're going to come back to that and play that probably over the next couple of weeks. I'll be playing that a fair amount as long as, as well as this. So I try and I try and play a variety because I don't want people to get bored, but at the same time, I, I try and focus pretty hard on games that I have fun with rather than playing like new stuff. Like Pal World went really big. Um, Pal World is just like that style of game. Not my thing. Not my thing at all. Like the the Pokemon style, capture them, um, PVE, you know, world building, PVP world building, like all that. Not really my jam as much. Um, but in particular, like the Pokemon element just doesn't doesn't resonate with me particularly strong, um, strongly. So I didn't play Pal World. Um, which is nothing against it. It's just, you know, I know that I'm not going to like enjoy it. So I'm, I'm happy to play games, even old games that I enjoy because I think that leads to a better stream. You know, at least I get a little more hooked. The first time we dropped the dreadnought in this, it was like, it was a rather emotional outburst, I guess is how I'll put it. We'll take this, even though it's not the best upgrade. And we'll see if I remember where the enemies are. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. I went the wrong way. That sucked. Okay, pop those. Come on, come on, come on, come on, go. Good, okay. I'm working on it, brother. Jeez, Louise, let me get to it. Okay, pop those guys. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, shoot, shoot. I can't believe two of those guys got me. Okay, run through here. Good. Take that. Is that 12? That's 11. We got one more grenade input to go. Come on, come on. Oh my god, we still don't even have the elite up. This is getting ludicrous, bro. Alright, grenade is unlocked now. Next time we get grenades, we'll be able to fully unlock them. This is sick. Look at all this garbage on the ground, dude. It's like, I mean, okay, I'll take it. I'll take it, but god damn. I don't know that I want to keep chasing this thing. We need that third unlock. If we're going to even have the remotest shot in hell of getting the Dreadnought, we need the big boy. Actually, I'm a professional professional graphic designer. Very nice. Like that. I I, I know some graphic designers um, in the in the broader circle. We've got a lot of artist friends and some graphic designers. And my wife does, uh, does a lot of professional stuff that requires the services of graphic designers. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, so I've had the, uh, the pleasure of, of meeting and w not working with, but acquainting myself with more than a few. Very cool. I love I love graphic design. I think it's inherently interesting. The uh, just all the stuff to incorporate, and when you get a good one, you know, like like the 
the folks that she's been working with lately on on some of her work projects jesus christ they're good the the stuff they come up with i look at it and i'm like i don't even know how you like got all that information across with three words and 12 lines but my god i'm in awe okay try and get all this so very cool very cool oh shit and i walk right into the fucking guy idiot let's not do that let's not do that come on come on come on come on come on come on sit right on it i want you to sit on it Ooh. I want that damage, but is there any shot we're going to get six more levels on this pistol? No, no, because we're not going to get six levels in the next one. Ah, die, bitch. Yeah, there's no... Now we get mining speed. Day late. I know we need mining speed, but to have any shot in hell, we're going to need all of our unlocks on the minigun. And we're three levels away from that still. Maybe two levels. Nope, we're still three levels away from that. This one shoots me best. Oh, it's not looking good, dude. Not looking good. Especially when I do dumb shit like that. There we go. I'm able to design logos. Very cool. Okay, I did not mean to click that. Son of a bitch. That sucks. Well, that's all we're buying. <laughs> Fooey, I say. Fooey. Okay. So there's one cocoon. Let's look for the other cocoons. We got three to find. Uh, okay, we got one. Just get this one right now. Get that popped. Get out. Two to go. Two to go. Two to go. gonna I don't know I don't want to pop those but I think I need to I think I need to I'm just gonna oh shit I knew that was gonna go badly I thought I I didn't think the big ones would pop that quickly I thought they'd give me a little more spin up before they blew and they don't Yeah, you, you felt better, buddy. You felt better. The big guy controlling you is not controlling you well right now. Not well at all. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, not good, not good, not good, not good. So that didn't work. That didn't work well at all. That would be an example of the things we say are not to be done. Okay, get some health here since we got that guy. I cannot find the other cocoons, dude. They're getting kind of boned on the upgrade pickups. Okay, since we don't have any other elites up, we're going to get a forced cocoon hatch here in a second. And that's fine. We can live with that. There's nothing down there. I don't get it, man. Just don't get it. Where are my other cocoons? killing me son you're killing me i mean that'll be a 15 percent. so what's kinetic what do we have that's kinetic one of them i mean that's fire that's kinetic that's kinetic so three of our guns are kinetic I'm raring to try this out. somewhere around here is the third cocoon and as tempting as that nitro and gold are, they don't matter. We either beat the dreadnought. Oh, I don't know if we can get to him. There it is. There's the third cocoon. One where the it's going now. Okay, he's out. He's out. Look, he's out. He's out. He's out. Oh god. Okay, that helped. That helped. We hit him with the thing. 
We hit him with the thing. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta make this dodge. We gotta make this dodge. Okay. Yes, let's go, let's go, let's go. We have a shot. We have a shot, you guys. I don't know if we're gonna make it, but... We do have a shot. We do have a shot. It ain't a good one. It ain't a good one. Come on. Come on. Come on, ugly. Nope. 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 Okay. Okay. Come on, ugly. Come on. Come on. Okay. Good, 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 good. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, big boy. There you go. Eat that. Eat that, you big, ugly, shittinous, chitinous, armored motherfucker. Shit. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, good, 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 good. I got you. 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 I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Not a good place. Good place. Good place. We dodged. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Love that shit. Love that shit. We're gonna keep working him. Not great. Not great. Not great. Okay, good. We made it. We made it. All right, all right, all right. He's going to do a big jump. He's going to do a big jump here. We're going to get a little closer. That helped. Very good. Same thing. We're going to get him into them. We're going to get him into them. Come on, come on. Get close. Hi, guys. Detonate. Fuck yes. That worked beautifully. I think we're going to get him. I think unless I really fuck this, we're going to get him, you guys. And that is very satisfying. Oh, God, what do you think I'm trying to do, man? Do you think I'm playing with my health? My heart rate's like 300 right now. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, that sucked. That sucked. He's so close. He's so close. Okay, come on. It's all right. I'll take a hit from those little guys over him anytime. Got him. Fuck yes. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Come on, which way? Yes. Fuck yes. Let's go. Okay. Now we get the unlock, probably. Dude, we got him. Let's fucking go. That feels good. That feels good. Hell yes. Hell yes. That's a happy Lanitz. That's a happy Lanitz right there. Hmm. We got a new thing. The pop-up tripod? What's this do? I mean, it's a weapon. Oh, no, it's an artifact. On overclocks on the grenade. Love that. Love that for us. All right. Woo, mama. And we got the... Okay, that was for 15,000. Well, okay. Good, 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 good. Look at that. Only 2.8 million. Like, I did another run. And it was like 7 million, and I didn't succeed. It's wild. And once again, the grenade, despite not having good unlocks, by far our most damaging weapon. The grenade, like that, that fire grenade is ridiculously overpowered right now. Thank you for the claps, Minoc. Peach, thank you for the let's go. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Okay. I think we got one more run in us at least. I think we got at least one more. Um, hmm. Do that mic speed upgrade. Okay. So, Next stop, mining, mining level one is done. Crystals level one is done. Here, let's do hollow core. Go. We need to reach level 30 with the engineer. We need to complete the dive. Okay. Engineer it is. Let's play with the engineer. So I have only the one thing. Maintenance worker gives him access to construct weapons. All constructs are 10% extra damage and 10% reload. He begins with turrets. Which are which they that they're they're fun, but they're they're not easy. They're not easy because they don't follow you. So you gotta kinda they're tricky. But I like starting with the turrets. Find the He's so feisty, though. So these this level is interesting because these rocks, you can break the rocks, but the vines regrow. So it's kind of cool. Ooh. This is useful for armor down here. We'll get that. And this guy, it's kind of cool because when you stop to mine shit, you drop turrets. Because you don't drop turrets unless you stop moving. So just the act of mining means I'm going to be dropping my turrets, which help protect me while I'm mining. Which is sort of nice. So the turrets have been unlocked. They can get overclocked, which is good. And then we'll just see what else you can get from there. So we'll uh, we'll start working up the turret levels and get these overclocks going. And then we'll see what happens from there. Come on. Ooh. So many flying bugs, though, bro. Supplies ready. 
We could use another. We could really use another. You see what I mean, though? Like, there's like I don't have any way. This is a rare treat. There we go. Now I'm finally got to pass through here. Fire rate. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Love that for us. Okay. So, I, like this red shit, I don't think I can clear at all. It's just like impervious. It's just sort of funny. Okay, we're gonna leave that now. Fight for your life. The big swarm is approaching. Oh, that's not great. That's not great. Ooh, okay. We have new weapons. Krakatoa Sentinel. Flamethrower turret that shoots fire. All right. Or drop electrical turrets that arc beams between them. That sounds very powerful, but also at the same time very finicky. Defensive drones that damage nearby enemies. Oh, I wish I could like see more about them. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know which one's good. I mean, I, I like the idea of flame turrets to go with my other turrets. Fire is great, right? Everybody likes fire. This is this has got to be really powerful, but that's got to be really hard to set up. I mean, if you can get three of them, though, Ugh. we got potential. Mm -hmm. Drones. Let's do the drones. Let's try. It. Let's let's play with the drones. Okay, I see. I see a couple little dudes. They're chilling with me. This is not good. This is not good. I really wanted to save that for the elite. We're definitely going to take the BLT. God, I've already lost 60 health. I I'm getting my ass kicked right now. We just, we need better weaponry. We need better weaponry so bad. That's, this is what happened to me the last time I played him. I took an ass kicking in the beginning and then finally got like an upgrade on the turret that helped. Change the damage type to plasma. I mean, how can we not, right? Plasma's got to be good. It's fucking plasma. It's pretty. Oh, it looks good. It looks like it's doing good damage. I mean, it seems to be fucking things up. Increase the lifetime. Reload. I mean, I'll take lifetime. They're not lasting long enough. That's for sure. Uh-oh. Shit. Okay. Time to run. Time to run. Paul's not. Yes. I mean, who doesn't love a heavy plasma? So, like, here we can kind of run up ahead a little bit and go doop. And then go doop, and then go, <clears throat> and then go, and then go, fuck. And just kind of kite this little idiot around the turrets and let them work him. Go to hell. Go to hell, indeed. You go straight to hell. And just like that, he went down. Nice and easy. Which, of course, for, for level one, I mean, you should expect him to go down. Oh, really? Really? All right, don't go on here in a sec. Somebody wants me to be cute for them. <laughs> somebody, somebody wasted points if they want me to be cute, because that that can't happen. That's 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 illegal. But I won't waste time because you paid for the time. So here you go, money ears. Hop, hop, hop! I will not hop this time. I will not be hopping. Eh. And the reason for that is because the dog is over there chilling, and I'm gonna freak him out. He'll he'll freak out. But you can have the bunny ears. Taking you to stage two. There you go. You get a little hop. You get a little hop. Okay, there you go. A little hop for you. Load up and get going, Harpy's going to be so mad that she didn't get to see that. Okay, got a thingy. Got a thingy. We need 600 nitro. What else do we need? Level 30. Ooh. Yeah, I'll just 
Let's set up a nice little nice little crossfire over here. Let these guys do some work for a minute, get some axe. Walk into a guy like an idiot. Why not? Why not? You know? Sounds fun. Land it's fool. Okay, well, we're dropping stuff as rapidly as we can. Mm, kind of to no avail. We got too much clutter for the supply part to land. Do something. Ow. Didn't really mean to end up down here. That's all you got, you slippery shit. Let's go ahead and work the drones up too. We'll try and get the drones up so that we can uh we can keep the Ooh, okay, new weapon, new weapon. The Warthog Auto 210. Shoots in front of you in a steady rhythm, knocks back enemies. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't know. It could be good. I want the flamethrower turret. Those sound fun. Yeah, those sound very fun. And we're already kind of having to finagle with flamethrowers. So, like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Turrets everywhere. All kinds of shit getting flung around. Love it. And they're just Big mowing sure idiots down. Okay. Alright, alright. We're at fire rate or reload. Reload seems to be the bigger issue with those. I really want them to reload more quickly. So that I can always have them on hand. God. Pretty soon the elite should come out to play now. I'll take that. Oh come on, bro! Just keep making unforced errors. Maybe, maybe I'm just, just maybe I'm just a silly dude. That's that's what we're gonna chalk it down to. Okay, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Now where is he? Now where is he? Come on, come on, come on, ugly! I know you're here, ugly. You gotta be here. Jesus Christ. Please come in. There he is. There he is. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hit that. Alright, pick up radius. Fire rate. We'll take the fire rate. Yep, yep, yep. This should work out beautifully. Sploop right on the fucking head. <laughs> yep. I'd cackle too. Well, I did cackle, but... It will not leave without me. No, sir. It will not leave without me. Nobody leaves without this warp, thank you very much. Fuck. Oh, okay. I didn't even see that bug, dude, and I walked through it twice. Lannis, you fool. You fool. I can't even heal. Oh, no. Yeah, see, the engineer is not quite my jam. Not, not working as well for me overall. Okay. Wonder what sloth they're serving in the canteen tonight. Ha! <laughs> Surprise! The dwarf just comes busting out of your wall with a flamethrower, you know? Surprise! Kind of rude. You're just some bug living in your nest, you know? fucking dwarves kicking the door in. Actually, are the dwarves the aggressors here? Like, are they the bad guys? Are we actually the bad guys? I think we are. It's like rooted in colonial exploitation, you know? Like, honestly, probably they kind of are. Whoops. Oh, well. Exploitation is, I mean, I don't know. 
It's wrong, but dwarves are hot, so whatever. I'm gonna roll with it. Supply pod prepped and ready. No. We need you to clean up the landing zone. No. I was so trying to get far away from that. Oh shit. Uh ooh. uh no? Ah oh, god. Please don't, please don't. Yeah, do kill them all, but please stop coming on me. Okay, turrets mine nearby walls. Turrets explode when they're removed. I mean, exploding is good. I guess. Shit. Fuck me. Oh, this is not great. This is not great. We're not getting out of this. Okay, that didn't go <laughs> no, it did not go as planned. It did not. That's all right, though. You know, we, 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 I think we did pretty damn well. All told, we, 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 we harvested rock and stone. We, we killed the dreadnought. We talked about some, we talked about some shit. Um, I don't know. I feel pretty good about it. I think we did. I think we did pretty good. All told. Um, what if, what if, um, hmm. I'm debating another run or just saying, you know what? It's four o'clock. We've been at it for five hours. I think we should raid out. I can actually spend a little time chittering and chattering. I think I'm going to do that. I think, I think let's raid. I think let's raid. We had a good time today. I thank you all for, for a nice fun stream. Um, I hope you guys didn't find me preaching at you too obnoxious. I just wanted to share some thoughts while they were fresh in my head while I'm dealing with all this other junk and um, and all that. And also we're coming up on an ad break. So there's the final proof that it's absolutely the right time to, to fire off a raid. So I'm going to do that. And uh, I'm going to raid Skelly Pops. I'm going to raid Skelly Pops. I will post those links. Um specifically to uh vault warden bit warden um and uh and key pass and uh one pass that i talked about i will absolutely post those i can't remember what other ones i might have talked about did i talk about other ones i don't think i did right just those so let's raid skelly pops we're gonna go over and say hi to her to, to them and uh and uh you know have a good time see what see what they're up to share a little love so thena amazonian athena calling you Amazonia, Dana, or Peach, or Emmy, or anybody. How about a raid message? Can we have a raid message? Goodbye, Obi. But not Obi. Not goodbye, Obi. We rock the galaxy. Fuck yeah, that's a good raid message right there. I love it. That is our raid message. Thank you, Peach. Put that shit in. We're gonna pin that shit. That is now pinned. And uh, thank you, thank you. So there's our raid message. Let us get over to the fantastic Skelly Pops. Thank you all for spending time with me today. We'll be back on Thursday at 11 a.m. Pacific time for probably more Deep Rock, but maybe Last Epic, which is a uh, um, an adventure RPG a la Diablo. You know, it's, I think Diablo style game. Um, so we may be playing some Last Epic, which is releasing version 1.0 tomorrow. Um, I think they're taking. I think they took the servers down today to upgrade, and I think they're going to go in hard, um, do the upgrade, and I think tomorrow morning she launches. So I'll, I'll probably look tomorrow and see if the game is up, and if it is, then we will uh, we'll play it on Thursday, and that'll be. I think that'll be fun because it's a, it's an interesting game uh, in the ARPG world. Uh, everybody's like, oh my God, the crafting system is amazing. And I'll be honest, I don't understand it at all. So it's something that we could all learn together. I think that'd be fun. So let's get over to Skelly Pops and uh, have a nice little fun time. And uh, thank you again for being with me and for hanging out. Be good to each other. For the love of God, get a password manager, please. Links will be in the exclamation point discord very soon. I'll catch you guys next time.